Hello. Hi guys. Are we live? Yes, we are live. Are we live? I think so. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll just, uh, it's been a wee bit also the live, so we're just having, oh, oh, we've got uh, volumes uh, switched on two seconds on some of our devices, <laughs> just let it switch off. So please just bear with us while we, wait, <laughs> is that me? Yeah. Oh my goodness, wait now, sorry. Ah. How did I switch my... Oh my goodness, I can't get my switch off. Ah, I'm just going to switch my pad off. Right, okay. Oh, that was stressful. There we go. Yeah, now. No. <laughs> ah, there we go, that's it, good. Right, okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm now paranoid, I can hear myself. So, so welcome, so this is exciting. So, uh, so it's the, the first uh, official Facebook Live on the Kate Flix um, community page, and uh, it's very, very exciting. So, um, as some of you will have be, be aware, um, that over the, over the last, I think, three or four days, we've had what, a thousand, is it a thousand new members? Yeah, we've a thousand new members on this page which is actually unbelievable, so it's, it's amazing. Uh, in fact, within one hour, just, just previous there, we had 56 new um, requests to join the group. So um, so how, how lovely is that? And as I'm sure uh, a lot of you have seen, it is just uh, mind-blowing, the, the different levels of cake makers in one page. Uh, and that's what it's all about. It's about one big cake community from the complete beginner right up until the the very best in, in the world and all in here together to help each other out uh, and uh, and just have a good laugh and just share things the good things the bad things it's private so of course your customers aren't going to see it uh, we can we can share our ups and downs roundabouts and the whole thing and the idea is that we're just going to have a, a nice nice safe place to talk cake so that's the, that's the main thing now we've got loads of things that we're going to be adding on to this page that's coming up. So loads of ideas. We're actually bouncing so many ideas uh, that we've had to just start writing down and just like just to take one step at a time because I'm like a speedboat sometimes. Um, so it's just like calm down, calm down. Let's just just take it easy and and uh, etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, so very very exciting. Um, so uh, so uh, so a big apology for me for not going through. I started going through and liking everything and commenting and everything. Uh, and then it was actually coming in too fast. It was coming thick and fast. Uh, I think it was at one point, uh, was it yesterday morning at the top? And before I even got up in the morning, there'd been 56 posts, not comments, posts. Um, so it's uh, really amazing how quickly it's all come together. So very, very exciting um, indeed. Um, sorry, I, I always start wrong. I always take a big massive swig of water before, <laughs> before I go live. Um, so, um, so we have um, Matthew, he is here. So, Matthew, do you want to come around and say hello? So, some of you might have already met Matthew when we did the QA for our pro members. Um, so, this is Matthew. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Matthew is my nephew, and you've been with us for how long now? Uh, about a year. About, is that a year already? Wow. Yeah. So, about a year, and uh, Matthew does all the editing for the tutorials. Uh, and Matthew has just now moved over to uh, Espanol, and uh, you've been here about three weeks, three or four weeks. Yeah. yeah and uh, Matthew's now doing uh, the filming as well. So filming, editing, uh, and then um, just all the other wee jobs just to help David out. Mm -hmm. So you enjoying it? Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. So yeah. so he knows everything about cake, and it's really funny because we're just having a laugh. He didn't realise this before I went away to do some work abroad. Um, uh, I posted a picture of Matthew standing next to the, the coral reef cake. But I didn't actually say Matthew didn't make I just said Matthew's gonna come to join us and he's gonna be doing um, uh, you're gonna see a lot more of them. And of course I didn't actually explain the cake in front of it was actually mine. So a lot of people thought Matthew had made the cake. But he did make the cake in a sense, but you just filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> you now know how to make it, don't you? You're an yeah, expert in yeah. cake decorating now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, and your uh, girlfriend was over uh, the weekend, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, days, yeah. yeah, so she's she's loved it. So she just she went away. Well she was go last night, but her flight was a uh, cancelled so uh, she got an extra, an extra day in Spain so um, so that's Matthew so you'll be seeing a lot more of Matthew over the, over the next couple of weeks and months thank you very much no problem thank you bye <laughs> he didn't get to say much there did he but he, he, he was he's standing proud and this is David Bryce oh. <laughs> just in case you never know <laughs> can you see my shorts yeah no it's fine <laughs> Kick flicks top on yeah it's, 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 it's very branded yeah so we're we're trying an experiment tonight, and so far so good. So Matthew's been helping out. So we're now streaming to the Facebook group, streaming to YouTube, and we're streaming to the website all at the same time. And um, so I would say it was easy, but Matthew might throw something at me. It's been a 
been a bit of an afternoon, but um, everything so far seems to be working fine. But I don't want to tempt fate. No, but it's any so route. No, there's plenty of it there. Oh, there is. So, so <laughs> yeah, it's what's going to happen. Matthew's doing the cameras. I'm going to look at the the comments coming in and try and feed into Paul, who's going to be doing a crazy octopus. I know. I can't believe I've, I've got my iPad, so I just glance over the comments, and it's, I can't switch the volume off for some weird reason. So oh. I don't know why that's happened. But never mind. Okay, okay. Well, I best go off and let yeah. you get up. Unless you're all, all um, branded, branded up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can take that off. Then, can yeah, I? you can. You can put your uh, vest top back on. <laughs> right. Okay. So um. So so I can see there we've got thirty five comments coming in, but I just can't see who's who's there. Is it anyone? Should we do it? Okay. No, we're just going to go straight on to. Let's just go straight on to just now. So David's going to feed some more out there. So octopus time. So um. So um. As some of you know, that the shark cake that we made uh, recently, the tutorial, uh, it was actually was going to be an octopus, and in very very last minute, as quite often I'm like. I changed uh, changed design and went for the the shark instead of the octopus. So uh, so I thought tonight we'll do an octopus. And now I'm hoping to do it relatively fast. It's not going to be it's not going to be refined. It's more actually about structure and just how to bring it all together. So and as I say, it's the first time I've made this one. So it's just a, a little design that I had in my head for a long time, and um, and I'm going to make it tonight. So let's just see what happens. So first thing, freestyle jigsaw cutting. So literally got a piece of MDF wood, got my jigsaw cutter, which I've never done before, and just went for it. I didn't have any design in, in, in mind at all. I just went wiggly wiggly all the way around, okay? So that's standing 12 inches uh, wide, or long, whatever you want to say, and it's about eight uh, going the other way. So a 12 by eight piece of wood, and then made until wiggly wobbly wide, okay? So just like that. And then the thickness, again, I just I just picked it off the, the pile. Um, so it's a 10 mil thick uh, piece of wood. Okay, so that's, that's that. Mm -hmm. Good. Then what we need is we need a, a support, so something for the cake to sit on. So we've got a four inch round uh, piece of uh, plywood, uh, same thickness of wood, and it's got a 10 mil uh, hole in the middle of it. Likewise has this piece got a 10 mil hole in the middle there. So we just get your, your uh, drill and drill the hole. So once we've got that, we then have a 10 mil threaded rod with, uh, we need four uh, nuts and washers. Uh, now the length of this again, I didn't measure it. I just went, I just eyeball, eyeballed it, and it's um, seven inches or about eighteen centimeters uh, long. Okay, so what we want to do with this, we want to get the washers. So I've got all the washers here. I could have just made the structure up, but you know something that's got horrible when you see the structure, you don't actually know how how it's um, how it goes together. Um, so uh, so you get a threaded rod, you get your washer and uh, your nuts. It goes through the through the hole. And then another wee washer at the bottom, and then another wee nut. Now make sure that there, there's no excess coming out the bottom, or it'll be wibbly wobbly underneath. That's my new word tonight. The sounds of it. And then you just want to get your spanner, pop that in there, spanner there. I got the wrong side. Good. What I want to do, oops, is just tighten it up. Okay. Right. Make sure it's really nice and tight. Okay, you can hear that when you hear that crunch noise, you know that's it ready. Okay, so that's good. So that's good. Now you can see I've got it I've got it at the back, not in the middle, because there's going to be a weight there. So if we've got the weight here and that's at the back, it means it's going to put the so it can't flip over. Where if we put this in the middle or even too far that way and then the weight in front, there's a chance it could actually flip over. So always have it here, so the weight's here and it can't really flip over. Okay? So you wouldn't want to do it that way or it could just do that. That makes sense? Good. Right, so once we've got that, we can see here I've got my little nut here, and then the idea is I've got a four inch round, we've got the washer that's going to sit here, and then this is going to be the platform for the cake to sit on, like so, okay? The reason why it's for wiggle wobble is I'm just thinking the octopus, because it's got all the wee wavy arms and tentacles, etc. Um, so that's on there, so just, I've already drilled the hole for this one, you can see there. So what I've done here is I've got my soft aluminium wire, now it's 3.2 millimetres, um, and it's um, oh, got a little spider on me. <laughs> uh, 3.2 millimeters, uh, and it's a soft aluminium wire. So it's an armature wire. I just got it on Amazon, uh, nice and cheap. Uh, and what I've done is I've cut out um, 50, uh, 55 centimeter and 60 centimeter strips, just uh, just random sizes, just so we can get the tentacles going all different shapes and sizes. And I've actually pinched the technique from Dot Clerk, so Dorothy Clerk, uh, when she did the spider uh, live with us uh, ages, it seems like ages ago. 
uh, and it's the same. I'm using the same technique to get the, the tentacles on. I actually thought I'd come up with the idea myself. I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. And I thought, I'm sure I've seen that somewhere else before. And I thought, oh my goodness, it's not. It just shows you sometimes you get things planked in your head and you don't actually realise it's actually somebody else's design. Um, so it was, it was Dorothy's uh, design for that. So what I've done, if I hold it there, you can see here, there's the hole and there's the hole there. And I've got a little drill, the same thickness as there, as that, it's 35 millimeters. And I've just drilled little series of holes all the way around. More than what I actually needed, I just wanted to give, have the freedom. So I've put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've put 10 holes all the way around there. And it means when I put the wires on, I've got, you can see this one's got a gap between it. Uh, these ones are next to each other. Uh, and the next one's going to put on are going to be uh, next to each other as well. So once we've done that, what we need to do is bend this in the middle roughly. So let's just see, so bend there, and bend there. Now the more you bend this, the more, weak it, the more weaker it becomes, so just be careful. And the idea is, if you think about it, if we put it in, because originally I was going to put it in that way, if you put it in that way, when you try and bend up, they're just going to, they're just going to move, where if it's hooked over the wood, then it's, it's kind of, although it's loose, it's not glued in, it's the weight's holding it down, and it's not going to fall off, okay? So that, that's the, the sort of key uh, to this design. Um, so all I want to do is just pop the, the wire in. Okay, there we go. That's great. And all the way up, you can see I've got, made it a little bit flat at the bottom. Pull it all the way up. Then when you get to the top, get your pliers. I've already squished that on so you can see it. If you, it should be a little bit more rounded on the ether. Just because it's soft metal, you just press down quite hard and it just keeps it flat so you're not seeing it. Once you've done that, you can then just bend the wires over and you can see there we've definitely got a spidery feel or an octopus feel from it. There we go. So now the last bit is this last one here. Because this is gonna be one of the, the legs, okay, the threaded rod, I had to uh, put a singular one on because there's obviously eight legs. So I've put one through there. I've just, just folded it up the top just so it doesn't move. All right, you can see there like that. So just twist it around and lay it up there. So it's just so, so it's got the exact same idea as other ones. Okay, so that's uh, nice and easy. So once we've done that and we've got uh, all of them on, you can just lift them up so we're not getting them in the way on the board. It looks a little bit scary at the moment, but never mind. Uh, we want to then place that over the top. We then get our washer and there and pop that on there. So what, what wire is that? It looks very flexible. Yep, yeah, so uh, it's, it's a soft aluminium armature wire and it's 3.2 millimetres. Okay, yeah. Good. Okay, so once we've got that on there, the same thing again, I'm going to get the spanner. There we go. And just want to tighten uh, this up. So you've kind of got to hold on to everything. I'm holding on to the spanner, the wood, uh, so it doesn't spin around. See, it's starting to spin at the bottom there, so just be careful. So there's lots and lots of people joined, and apparently you're uh, coinciding with the Prime Minister's debate. Oh, oh, that's, oh, I know what I'd rather watch. <laughs> okay, you can see it spinning around a little bit, so it just came loose a little bit. Oh, Prime Minister. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't get into that, actually, just reverse what I just said there. Definitely want to get into politics tonight. Okay, so I'm holding that bottom bit there, just so it doesn't move. And then I think I'll, 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 I'll loosen that bottom section off. So I'm just putting the back in there and then just giving this another wee, a wee tighten up as well. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. So that feels good, nice and strong. Now, if we just turn it upside down, just obviously we've got the problem here is we've got this sticking out. So I've got, um, these are great, I love these. So these are four inch round cake uh, drums uh, and they're great for just placing them underneath the little, little feet and it's nice and quick. So I've got my hot glue gun here, and then um, let's put this cable over. And all I want to do is just put lots of hot glue on like that, and I'm just gonna place them relatively close like that. Okay, We're, I was uh, teaching over in Scotland and in Jersey, and that's what everyone was saying. It's amazing who would be without hot glue guns these days. <laughs> Okay, so there we are, and I just want to then put the last one in the middle there. Okay, so lots, you can see lots of glue, just place that on there, 
and just press that down. If you've not got little things like that, then of course get a little bit thick, but th thicker bits of wood and you can just dot them around, uh, which works just as well. All right, so there we go. So that's good. So we can now turn that around and hopefully it sits nice and flush. There we go. Oh, it's always a worry when you're doing a live that it, it doesn't actually it doesn't happen that way. Now, oh, actually, yeah, that's it. So now what I want to do is I want to just make sure it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to get the hot glue and I'm just going to, I just like to make sure we're taking no chances at all. So lots of glue on there. And then I'm just going to put lots of glue up here as well. Just, I always just like to quadruple check that things can't move. Okay, so turn it around up there and I'm just going to pop a little bit under there uh, as well. So Michelle was on, she was saying that she bought a, a jigsaw cutter. Oh yes. A, a long time ago and she's never been used it, she's been too scared. So oh, th okay. This is the one to try isn't it? This is definitely one to try. So um, it's not, not, not frightening at all and, uh, and, and it's nice and wibbly wobbly so there's no... Because I, I came in and joked to Matthew, I said do you think that looks round? <laughs> and I'd cut it out, oops just stuck that to the board there. Um, so yeah, so yeah, don't be scared of it. Uh, the one thing is to do is just be very always careful because you don't want to to cut your your hands off. So um, just be very careful. I just use a a, a very cheap little cutting. Um, what's it called? A DIY? What's it? Uh, workman's bench. A workman's bench. Yeah, I got it with Aldi, something like that. It was, it was very very cheap, and it's great just for uh, for working on. So what what's the maker jigsaw that's from Collect? Um, the maker jigsaw that you use. Bosch. 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 Not Posh. No, not Posh. Well, it's Posh Bosch. <laughs> yeah, it's a Bosch one. Uh, is it? Or, or no, Black & Decker. Is it Black & Decker? It's actually still outside. I just leave it. I always forget to cut something, so I always leave it rigged up. It's actually a Black & Decker. Black & Decker. All right, so then that's that's all nice and set. So bring that around there. <laughs> that wee spider's came back. That's because I've also brought the wood from outside. I've got a wee spider there. So there we go. Right, so that's that, and it's, uh, it's firming up just lovely. But then we need to make it food safe, don't we? So to make it food safe, we have to uh, cut the little hole out of here to pop over there. But the problem is we've got all these little bits that stick up. Now, of course, we could just put some chocolate on there, like fresh chocolate to cover it all and then stick it on. But sometimes I'm a little bit worried about doing that. So what I've done is I've cut a little, a little disc. Now, I can't really give a size for this because it just depends what size you've actually made your, your thing. So uh, you can see there, just, just roughly, it's probably going to be about two. Oh, it's actually three, that's two and three quarters of a, an inch or seven centimetres by six centimetres. I just want to make it so the idea is it just sits in there. So you've got this part here and of course then we've got the little nut here as well. So the idea is, again, we get more hot glue. I'm just going to put lots of hot glue on there. Oh, my stick is coming back there. There we go. So there we go. And there we go. That's good. Okay, and I just you can see loads and loads of glue. And we want to go round, and we just want to place that on there. Good. So now it's got this big flush platform. So it means I've still cut a little hole out of here with the, the um, blade, what's it called, the spade bit. A nice big one so it fits over there. And the idea is we just pop that on there like that. And then that's just got a little food safe platform for the, the cake to go on. Okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So that's the structure. And uh, obviously all we have to do is just actually make a cake now, don't we? So I'm just going to sort of just stretch these out a little bit, straighten them up now that we've got that on there. It just make, makes it easier to get the sugar paste on. So now that we've got that, and we can sort of see the, the shape and the size. Now, if you, the reason why I made them a little bit longer was, of course, we can um, cut them to size once we've got them on. You can see they're much shorter ones, and then these ones are longer ones, which I think can add to the whole, the whole twisty thing going on there. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're actually just going to leave the stand. It, it definitely looks random. We should take a photo and put it on Facebook and say, can you guess what we're making? Because I, I don't think you could guess. It looks, it looks like an umbrella at this stage. It looks like a spider, actually. It does look like a spider, yeah. So now, remember the hairs? Remember the complaint once when the, I did the Jeep cake that somebody thought was a black hair? And it wasn't. It was one of the glue hairs. Um, so airbrushed black, which wasn't so good. All right, so you can see here, there, put, putting the weight on there, the cake can't uh, fl flip over, fingers crossed. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that out of the way just now. Now, of course, you should really be giving your table a V anti back spray, um, but my cake's not for anyone, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so bring over the cake. So I've kind of started carving these just to get a rough shape uh, from the cake. Now, this cake is about uh, I don't know, it's very out of date, so uh, I'm just using stuff from the, the stock room 
uh, just because it's um, old, so no one's going to be eating this cake. So, but I'm going to treat it like it is an edible cake, just so that it's uh, all, all made food safe, styly. All right. So if we get the ganache, now I'm almost going to be certain that this ganache is set. It has, and I made it really soft as well. So this is probably a good time for us to put a little, a little one minute quick bite on. Is that possible? Are we able to do that? Yeah. So what I want to do is just while we're waiting for that to go on, you can tell me when you're going to go live. Uh, so we've got the shape here. Now that's not the shape, is it? It should be the other way around. So that goes up there and that goes there. And then just because it's top heavy and then I'm going to carve it into the shape of the octopus and it's going to be sat on this little four inch round cake card. So the idea is we're going to turn it upside down, we're going to place that on there and we're going to carve the shape of the head of the octopus. Okay, so are you ready for me to go and do a wee warm up? Yeah. Three, two, one. Are we on? Are we on? <laughs> oh my goodness, that was not enough time. Right, okay, so uh, so I'm just gonna just gonna get ash. So I've got dark chocolate, this is actually a 50-50 mix. So it's half dark chocolate, half uh, milk chocolate in there. And I need to just give my hands a wee wipey. Oh, that was a bit stressful. There we go. I just don't like that microwave in the background. I'd rather have cakes in the background. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's get the knife and bring this over. Um, so you can see it's got a slight tilt now. Just turn, there we go, turn the cake around and that's it, fine. There we go. So, uh, so what I want to do is I just want to carve just a little bit of that edge off. Now, cake-wise, again, I've just been... Uh, so it's a five inch and a four inch, I think. Yeah, a five and a four. Put that back on there. Good. And then all I want to do is just go round and just take the edge off that. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a wee line, just so in case I take it off again, just so I know where it belongs. There we go. It's very dry. All right, so that looks good. So there we to is turn it over. And what we want to do is we just want to carve... The, the shape of the head. Ooh, that looks a bit dodgy. Okay. Okay, now, when you actually look at a real one, the heads are kind of going like that shape, um, but we're just going to go slightly more cartoon style tonight. There we go. Uh -huh. So, um, I was at the, the Sterling Cake Show at the weekend, the, the BSG regional one cake show. And uh, one, one of the one of our members came up and said, "I'm really looking forward to to, to uh, Tuesday night." And I was like, hey, "What's happening Tuesday night?" She went, "Your Facebook Live." I went, "Of course, of course, the Facebook Live." <laughs> I was like, "Let me get the show over with first. I can't handle it." Oh, there's Paco getting annoyed at something. <laughs> okay, so um, there we go. So there we are. So that looks good. Now, if I just turn that back around again. Just check there. So I can see there I've still got a bit of an overhang there. I don't want to have too much. So I'm just going to cut so I come up close to the side of the board. So I really want that to be flush. Okay, because we're going to add the ganache on. So turn it around. That's good. There we are. There we go. There we are. Good. There we are. Gosh, I thought you were bringing the dogs in for a second. I was like, that's not a good idea. There we go. Good. So that looks fine. So happy with that. So I just want to hold it up and have a wee look. That's fine. It's going to get your nice round. Now, I think it could do a bit more of a rounded. It just it looks too, too bulbous up there. So I want to just make it 
not just as big up the top. So I'm just going to take a little bit more off the side. Now, dogs are barking, which makes me think there's probably somebody at the door or something. Uh, there we go. So, Faye's saying great pictures, Matthew. Oh, there we go. Good. Thank you. And Debbie's saying hi from the Gold Coast. Oh, the Gold Coast. So I think some people, from what I, I was reading earlier on there, are actually turning it's 5 a.m. in the morning. So they've set alarm clocks to go up at 5 in the morning. So welcome. That's very, very um, lovely of you to do that. There we go. Right. Hold that up. Oh, that looks like a very good octopus-shaped head. All right. So that's good. So once we've got that uh, on there like so, uh, all I we'll have to do then do is ganache it all together. Okay, right, where's my wee spare cake drum that I had? Oh, just through here. Oh, oops. Five second rule. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm just going to stick it down. My goodness, this ganache is setting fast. So we're, we're really, uh, the outside temperature, uh, to, we're, we're getting at the start of a heat wave here uh, where we are and we're up to, um, was it 29? It was 29 when I nipped out to get some ingredients earlier on there in the car. So it's, mind you, I think that was in the standing car. I think it was about 24. Uh, sorry, 30. It was 39 in the car when I was outside. Yeah. But I think it's down to about sort of 30-ish. Yeah, it was 32 when we came back. Well, 32, yeah. It's so it's, it's definitely uh, ranked up a gear. Now, obviously, you could cut this and fill it so you get a lot more um, filling inside, but we're just going to go for just a basic stick together malarkey okay so Denise Mark saying hi from Florida when it's 3.30 p.m. 3.30 in the afternoon oh yeah six hours hi Denise from Spain uh, five yeah from the UK. cool who else is on uh, Larry Mason Joy and Angela Jolly Good Cakes what a great name Jolly Good from, Cakes from Florida as well oh got a lot of Americans on Debbie Michelle Becky Pegg, Annie Jo Walker, Sean Walker, oh. Hannah Fantastic. Paul, Lorraine Mackay, Colette Roos, Good. Heather uh, McDonald Hamilton, Ricky Blacktop. Good, so we've got lots on there Marnie, now. Marnie from Lithgow, if she's still speaking to us. Marnie? Marnie, our neighbour from Lithgow. Marnie, Marnie. Marnie, Marnie. Oh, hello, Marnie. <laughs> uh, uh, Celia's on, Helen Carter. Just been up. You know, Mar you know Marnie, Marnie had new, some good news. It's going to be Granny Marnie. Marnie. <laughs> oh. Yes. What's that? What's that? So Max going to be a dad. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure which son it is actually. <laughs> well, maybe Marnie can help us. I know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so all the way, all the way around. And you can see that I'm just adding that ganache up and just stretch it to the top. Now I'm using dark chocolate ganache because obviously I want it to set fast, but you know, there's a high chance this cake type of cake is going to be for a kitty winkle, uh, and if that's the case. Now you can see here, I'm struggling to, to ganache. So see if you just get a little stick, pop that in the middle. So Carl McFarlane saying hi, Rosie. Hello. Neil saying hi. Uh, Gemma French from Port, uh, sorry. Chanel is from Port Elizabeth in South Africa. Oh wow, Port Elizabeth. Yep. Well, nice. Gosh, it's, it's, isn't it amazing what Facebook can do? It can bring all these people together. And YouTube I love that. and the website. And YouTube and the website. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> yep, so we've got uh, on YouTube, we've got cakes, cups and buttercream from Washington DC. Wow. 3.30 p.m. as well. So we've got people on YouTube watching. Yep. Did they uh, even Peru, advertise it on YouTube? Peru in Argentina. Wow. On YouTube. Okay, so you can see here, now that I've got that ganache on there, and the good thing is it's setting really fast because we've got the AC up full bun. And you can see it's starting to set, and all I want to do is just go around and try and get the excess off as much as possible. Turn it around. There we go. Now you can see there's a wee, a wee bump there, but I'm going to deal with that wee bump, even though it's maybe going to annoy me. There we go. So just for the purposes. There we go. It's actually like a hot air balloon, isn't it? So once you've done that, what we want to do is get one of our little, um, love the little scrapery thingamajiggies. And we want to pop that on there and use this to go around and just make it even more smooth and beautiful. So we're using this when I was teaching with, uh, over in with Zelia over in Jersey last weekend. And some of the students didn't know, had, hadn't saw this before. And it's just such a nice little uh, tool 
And if you don't have one, of course, you can just make one from a margarine tub or a placemat. You can use, use a placemat just to, um, to, to make a little scraper. So they call them sort of um, flexi smoothers or acetate smoothers. Okay, so just... Oh. Um, Martina's asking about the ganache, what type of ganache you're using. She's using milk chocolate, would that be a problem? Yes, yeah, so I'm using a 50-50 mix, and the reason why I'm using 50-50 is just that the dark chocolate just helps it to set quicker, so, um, because I'm doing, this, doing a live. So, but absolutely, you could do it milk. If you're doing milk, I wouldn't do 50-50 though. Uh, I would probably do a three to one. So, uh, two, so well, two, what do you mean by 50-50? So don't do 50-50, don't do half cream or half chocolate. You want to do a three to one. So three chocolate um, to one uh, cream. Um, so, uh, and that just gives a nice strong ganache. I think when I was in Australia recently, uh, they were actually using um, a four to one, some of them, so which is quite intense. Now that bump's actually annoyed me. It's got the better of me. So I'm just going around here and where that bump is, I'm just filling it in with a little bit of ganache just to get it nice and smooth. There we go. And then once that's in there, again, I'm just going over there like that. Look at that. Now, I actually remember the first person that really used these on, on our website, on Cake Flix. It was actually Mayan from Way Beyond Cakes. Well, Mayan was on, saw me in earlier. Oh, was Mayan on she as well? Was, she was one of the first on. Oh, yeah, so Mayan, um, when she was doing a, a rocket cake, that just seems like a lifetime ago, actually, Mayan, if she's still there. Five years ago. Is that five years ago? Yeah. Wow. So the nice thing is we're still friends with the, the bed and breakfast that they, st the, the, that they all stayed at when they're over, uh, Joan. And uh, we've, we've got some one-to-one -one students uh, uh, coming over to stay there as well, hopefully yep. coming up. All right, so there we go. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop this in the fridge and just let it set. There we go. And I'm just going to give the, the work top a quick, a quick clean. That's the, the joy of doing, doing live that I'll have to just do this while we're talking, so like a little bin up, there we go. Right, so what we're going to do now, just a little recap, what we're doing now, so part of the cake's in the, the fridge, uh, we're going to get the sugar paste out, obviously, and we're going to ice the cake off the stand, so it's much better to ice it off there because we're going to be moving things around, so once we've got it iced, we can, and it's all set uh, on there, on the stand, on the platform, we can then move it over to the, the stand just so we're taking the minimum risk from it. Now, the one thing I was thinking of when I was uh, building the stand was, if this cake had to go long distance, I'm just gonna put that bin down there. If this cake had to go long distance, it's probably better to put a central little dill sticking up the middle, just so that it, it, you know, the top bit couldn't fall off. Obviously, this cake's just staying in the kitchen tonight, so it's not going long distance at all. But um, you can just imagine, I was speaking to uh, someone the other day there, and they were saying the amount of times uh, they get customers that come in and you have to think, oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. So someone came up to the cake show in Stirling, the, the, the BSG, and apparently I made their son's um, first birthday cake. And I went, oh, that's nice. And, and then she says, do you know what age he is now? And I was like, well, he's 18. So that made me feel really, really old when she said that. So, and, uh, and she was saying that she got a bunny rabbit cake from us, separately, not for him. And uh, of course, the husband was taking the cake home and lifted the cake like that in the, the head. That the ear fell off. Um, so she was asking if I'd remember fixing the ear, and I was like, well, we had about 60 odd cakes a week going out. Uh, there was at least one of that happened every week uh, with husbands lifting the cakes, um, different funny ways. So there we go. So that's the cake being in the, the fridge. So let's bring the cake out. Now, another wee thing that actually. So while I was in, uh, doing the, the British Sugar Craft Guild demonstration, uh, there, I didn't have any hot water uh, uh, accessible to me, and I thought, how do you smooth this off fast? And I actually had some butter, so I used some a little, just a little bit of butter, a soft butter, and I actually used that, and it did two things: it helped me to smooth off the ganache, and then secondly, it also helped me to, um, it also helped me to uh, get it smooth and make it sticky to stick on. So it was just a one of those uh, last-minute th thoughts, and it was fine. And there was hardly any butter; it was just enough, just to sort of uh, spread over the top. Now what I'm doing here is just taking off that excess ganache there because we don't want that to get contaminated. Now I've not got a tissue here, so two seconds. There we go. Right, so a little bit of kitchen roll and we just want to clean up that bottom area there. Now I'm just going to bypass making this ultra smooth because I just don't want to waste any more time. So normally what I would do here is get I'd get hot pot and I can go round back and forward. So my tap is the slowest tap for warming up. So we're just going to bypass this part 
uh, because we're going to be texturing this, the skin anyway, so it doesn't actually matter if it's a wee bit bumpy, so we're just going to have to just deal with that. All right? Okie dokie. So, um, right, so let's get some sugar paste out. So I'm using my favourite brand, uh, which is the Massa de Chino, and I'm just going to use Ivory. Okay, so let's open that up. So you can use um, white sugar paste. Uh, because I'm going to be airbrushing, I'm just using the Ivory. Okay, so that's 500, so I'm just going to open up the 750, so three packets. So it's also very warm here today, so that's why I want to use some that's a bit, a bit sort of more stronger, so more of a stiff, oh, I've got a bit down there, stiff consistency. Um, so you wouldn't really want to use a sugar paste that's really soft. If you were using a soft sugar paste, then probably put some CMC or Tylo through it. Or 50-50 with modelling chocolate would also, would also work. Right, so just soften this up. So Denise has asked what um, brand of food colouring would you normally use? If I was going to colour it? Yeah. yeah. So if I was going to colour the sugar paste, I have my little drawer here. And uh, in fact, there's the colours there. So uh, you've got um, Facto colours. So it's a Pro Gels. Uh, and this one is um, Rainbow Dust. So uh, so that's the brands that I like to use uh, there for, uh, for colouring up. So the gel ones. I'm not so keen on... Some people like to use the dusts. Um, but I just like using the Pro Gels because it just colours really fast. So if you don't have an airbrush, then what you want to do is just get your colour out just now, pop a little bit of orange or whatever colour your, your octopus is going to be and colour up the sugar paste just now. All right, so let's get rolling. Now, normally at this stage, I would give us a little spray with my little spray. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to change my rolling pin two seconds. I was using that rolling pin to bash the, uh, the biscuits into sand before I went live, so it was a little bit grainy. Okay, so just rolling out. So, uh, as I was saying, I was at the, 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 um, the BSG, so it's the British Sugar Craft Guild Regional One Exhibition. It's every, every two years, and it's, held, it's actually held at the Police College in Scotland, a place called Tully Allen. Uh, is it Tully Allen? Yes, Tully Allen, Police, Police Academy. So it's quite, it's quite cool going to a police academy. Um, so the only thing that was a little bit scary, and it happened the last time, is the, dem the main demonstration theatre is um, it's in the uh, lecture theatre. We you know, like we see in the movies where all the seats are way up and they're like a, a shape of like that. So it's very, very intimidating when you walk in because uh, you just look up and see all these, all these seats. Um, so that was exciting. So I was doing the, the dime, no, de dem and dime um, there, which is on the Saturday night. Once the show is over, uh, everyone comes in and watches someone uh, doing a cake, and then we have dinner. So it was uh, it was rather rather nice until normally when you do a demonstration, you're not doing a demonstration to is it your peers. It's like you know it's it's not to um, someone on your equal or above. It's normally to students or whatever. And all of a sudden I thought, oh my goodness, the show's finished. It means all the other artists that are demonstrating and teaching are also going to be in this demonstration theatre. So it's been a long time since I had a really, really big, um, um, what's it called, stage fright before I went on. But it was actually really good fun once it, once it got, once it got into full swing. Right. So you can see here I've rolled out the sugar paste. Now to check to see if we've got enough, just get your rolling pin up, over, and down. So just shy of the size of the rolling pin, and look at that. You think I'd done that before? All right. So I just want to get the sugar paste over. Bring the cake over, and then we're just going to go up and over like that. Okay, so once that's uh, over on there like so, then all we want to do is just go round and smooth it off. So as you're working, what will happen is the sugar paste will start to stretch a little bit. Now I've got a little bit of chocolate on me, so you just be careful. And what we want to do is lift the sugar paste, and you want to stretch it back on itself like that. Okay, so it's always stretching back. So you're going back this way, so open up the pleat, okay, and then down, like so. Now, don't worry if it, you get little pleats or whatever, because obviously it is an octopus, and we're going to make it all textured, so don't get too worried. So again, just back on itself, stretch that sugar paste around, because it's quite a, it's quite a fiddly, fiddly cake to make, because you've got lots of extra pleats because of the shape. So Jackie Harris has said, um, how many times have you been to Australia this year? 
How does my be? <laughs> I've not even started that gag yet, Jackie. <laughs> and uh, oh, who's asking for the black cat story? Oh, yes. Lindsay, Lindsay McIver was asking for the black cat story. That's a good story. So, uh, so I was at the, the Sugarcraft show uh, in Stirling, so I can start actually in that now to annoy people instead of Australia. And um, so I was um, speaking to Natalie Porter. Natalie Porter's Cakes and Natalie Porter's Book up there. <laughs> There's a wee shout out, Natalie. And um, so Natalie was telling me, she, was, she did a Facebook Live for Carol over in Sugar and Crumbs. And she, she did it for the first time from her own kitchen. And she had some little technical problems. It was quite funny. The, the camera flipped so you could see her, her uh, husband and all that kind of stuff. It was just really, really funny. So she was saying, and then all of a sudden, um, later on when we were doing the live, the cat walked in. And she did that, and the cat walked in. This is in Stirling, in a castle, the police academy, nowhere near her house down, down in England, near London. And she, as she does that, and I just say, what do you mean that cat? cat? And she, she just couldn't get them talking about, no, that cat. And she turned around and a, and a pure black cat was right underneath her hands, exactly where she did it. It was just one of the freakiest things because her cat is black as well. So it was just the, the strangest. It was like, I was like, are you a witch? <laughs> and then what was really cute was um, uh, her husband took the cake uh, outside and then within minutes the cake, the cat was back standing next to her stand. So she had a, a little cat uh, at her stand at the cake show, <laughs> which is quite, quite unusual. Okay, so just going around there, you can see here, onto the last bit, and we're just lifting it up. Now, if you find you really can't get rid of the pleats, then of course you can just get the scissors and just cut them away and blend away the join, if you, if you can't get it. So that we've got the last one here, and I'm stretching this one up. There we go. So the reason why they were, uh, Jackie was saying about Australia, uh, I had a lot of time to kill because they had ran over with their award ceremony for the, the uh, Cake Awards, uh, the, the uh, presentations. So I had about 20 minutes to kill, so I started telling about the story um, about being in Australia. So I've been in Australia twice this year. Did I tell you that? <laughs> okay, so there we are. So there we are. So that's that nice and smoothed. So we just want to get more cake smoother. Can you ask what thickness you're growing your sugar paste? That's from Helen. Yep, so give me two seconds and I'll actually show you. So normally around about three, three or four millimetres would be the, the ideal. So I'll just put the knife around. And then we're just cutting that in and going all the way around there, like so. And then all the way around, like so. Now if I take that off, because it's massive, it's not going to dry that quickly, so I don't have to worry about the, it drying out. So there we go. So if you look there, I don't know which camera we're going to be looking at for this. Camera two, which is that one? That one. <laughs> okay, let me see. So bang on four millimeters. So I've rolled out a four mil thickness. Can you see that? Yep, yeah. okay, so four mils. Good. Now, I'm going to be using that, so I'm going to put that on there. Uh, now, this stuff's got ganache in it, so, um, but it doesn't matter. Because we're going to be airbrushing, and ganache is quite oily, you can just mix it into the sugar paste. Actually, pretty much buttercream is the same as well. Okay, there we go, and I can just reuse that again. Easy peasy. Pop that to there, and then, especially, this is for all the, those perfectionists out there. You want to get your little smoothers. You can see I have quite an array of smoothers. Um, so I just get two softer ones. So I want to get two softer ones. Pop that over there. Okay, and I just want to put on your hand, and we want to go around, and you can just go around and start to really get nice smooth. And just, especially the bottom bit, where when you're pulling the sugar paste back in itself, uh, you just want to get rid of those lumps and bumps. Okay, so the good thing about these as well is because you're ha if you've got warm hands and you, it's good if the work cake but a lot of the sugar paste is a little bit warm, stays warm, so the heat generates through the plastic where the sort of thicker ones, that doesn't happen. Okay, so all the way around. I'm not going to get too precious because as I said, we're going to be texturing it anyway. Although this bit here is annoying me. <laughs> all right. There we go. Any questions? Anything coming up? How do you have a good time to talk about Punzi Bear? Punzi Bear? No, not a good time. <laughs> so I'm keeping all any of this sort of uh, promo stuff until we're doing the arms, because I've got eight arms to do. So it might get a little bit boring while I'm doing that. So I'm going to keep all the, the adverts. But I was just asking, has anyone got any questions? Any kicky questions? No? No kicky questions? There we go. No, I was just, uh, Carol McFarlane from Sugar and Crumbs was just saying, 
um, a good move to change it from it had been the Cake Flix group to now being Cake Flix Cake Community. Yes. So, of course, Carol's Sugar and Crumbs Cake Community, so yeah. two cake communities working together. Yes, yeah, that, that's what it's all about. I think um, so. Um, some some of you have read the post that I put on here earlier on. So uh, so I think when I came back from my travels, I was a bit tired, and you know what? When I get a bit tired, I get all emotional and start crying. But when I was reading the feeds, it was just seeing all the cakes, and it really annoyed me the fact that a lot of, a lot of people who I was inviting over who I knew made cakes, I thought they'd stop making cakes, so they weren't making cakes anymore because I'd never seen a feed from, and all of a sudden, you guys were posting posting pictures of your art, your artwork. I had no idea that you actually made the cakes. Uh, I thought you'd just given up, uh, and I was really inviting a lot of people over because I just thought it'd be nice for them to be in the group. So it was such a, an amazing thing to see, and it's just so nice to see everyone everyone together in the group. So yeah, so so yeah, it's, it's nice. To, and also, um, what David said about working with each other. So we want to work with other companies because that's what it's all about—is it sharing sharing each other's um, uh, life and cake. So, so there we go. So there we are. So that's the, the uh, top part um, being um, iced there. So what I want to do now is before I put it on, I want to add a little bit of texture. So I've got the texture now. The reason I want to put the tinfoil out was if you don't have any texture mats, then of course we can use good old tinfoil. Now if I just pop this to one side, if I just roll this out, I was having a look at the um, Octopus, and there's you know, it's really hard to sort of see the texture. And one thing, uh, I don't know if I actually what that after all, yeah. So, you've got like a sponge, so you can use a sponge and uh, you can use that to add to texture, which I think looks really, really cool on this. Obviously, a sponge that's not been used, and it really looks like little veins. I don't know if the camera's going to catch that, probably not. Yeah, can you see that? Yep, yeah. so that's a, a sponge that's going to be the wee bristly bits. So, you've got that, or you know, you see, you see some of the sort of other ones, cartoon ones, and it just looks like little, uh, little um, almost like little jelly beans or little little dimples. So like you can do it that way, and it's like little patterns, uh, or uh, you can turn it upside down so it pushes in the way, uh, which I thought looked quite nice. I don't know why it reminds me of a brain that way, which can he, looks quite nice. So I quite like that one, but of course I've got loads of big ones and little ones. The problem with the big ones is try to actually press it onto the cake and actually see the. The big one can be quite difficult. It doesn't look so good on there, so I'm not going to use that one. So what I'm going to do, uh, I've got a wee, a wee one there which is quite nice as well, but this one's quite nice. It's a bit more random, so I'm going to use this one. So just use, use anything that gives you a nice texture. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're not trying to make a real octopus, are we? Um, so as I say, you can go on with the sponge, and we can go round, and that gives a really delicate, probably more a slightly more realistic feel. Um, or we can use the good old little. So that was a big sheet. I just cut some of them up into small ones. So these che these sheets are actually quite cheap, and it, so sometimes what I do is I actually buy two. So one that stays the big size, and one I can cut up into tiny little bits. So when I'm working with the cake, uh, we can get a good texture on there. So um, so just pop this on the this, the surface, and all I'm doing is going round and just adding this texture to the this, the cake there. So you can see there very quickly we start to get a really nice shade. And of course, once we airbrush this. Now, surprisingly, when I'm pushing on here, I'm surprised at how soft that ganache is. So, uh, I wonder if there's a door open in here or something. No, there can't be a door open here because if there's a door open, there'd be two gold retrievers that sat by my side. So, there's not a door open. So, it must just be really warm. So, normally the ganache would be absolutely rock solid by this time. But as I say, we're getting a bit of a heat wave today. So, just turn it around, and you can see here just around. And now, obviously, I should actually put the wee um, stick back on top because it's hard for me to. to to hold on to, so I'm just going to very carefully just hold it in my hand, but I don't want to lose that nice pattern that I'm getting on there. So you can see why we want to do this on the board because I'm putting a lot of pressure on it, and if it was on the board, I'd be scared because I actually pushed it off the board. Um, but if you had the central dowel going up, then of course you wouldn't have that worry. Okay, so just back and forward on there. Now, once you've got that on there, what you can do is go uh, back on and just go back round again. Just to give it a, another extra, an extra you press, just in case your hand's taken away. Um, but I'm going to just leave it there. So there we go. So that looks good, right? Okay. So it's quite funny because at this stage I go, okay. So coming up next, when we come back, we're going to move on to blah blah blah. But of course, we, we've not got that. So we have a couple of questions. Uh, Christine says she's problems leveling her cakes 
Any suggestions? Leveling or cakes? Yeah. Uh, you probably want to get an Agby uh, or something similar. So that's one of those big knife things that you do this and it cuts the cake perfectly level. A lot of people like, use, like using the, the ganache discs and the ganache disc is the, the thing where you can sandwich your cake pull the ganache round and it gives you a perfectly level uh, finish on there. Uh, we've got lots of tutorials on our website how to ganache cakes, but they're not using the, gana the, the ganache this, it's using the good old fashioned royal eggs and technique to do that. So, um, so yep, so um, hopefully that's give you some, some ideas. Yep. Yep, uh, Charlotte's asked, how would you make your dowels food safe? So if this was going to be, this bit underneath here, if this needs to be food safe, uh, you can just wrap it in tin foil, uh, or you get the, stru the strews, you get the straws, uh, that you can pop over the top, which makes it food safe as well. Uh, I like to use tin foil because you can put a little bit of ganache on, scrunch it on as many layers as you want, and it's just stopping the, any food touching it. Some people use fresh chocolate as well, uh, because obviously the cake just lifts off the chocolate and the chocolate stays on the, the, the dough. Um, but as I, say, I like to use tin foil because it's nice and fast and uh, quick. And finally for the moment, Kapoon is asking, uh, do you always use chocolate ganache? Uh, yes, I always use chocolate ganache purely because it's, it sets fast. Um, if I was, but I do make a huge ganache, uh, sort of buttercream for children's cakes or for parties, etc. Family ones who just want buttercream. But for teaching, it's just so much faster and it is much more yummy. Um, so a lot of people are scared to, to give it uh, to use it because they think the customers won't like it. But I always recommend doing a taste test. Uh, so make make a chocolate cake, put milk chocolate ganache or white chocolate ganache on, and then do one with buttercream, like milk chocolate buttercream. Cut it up, put little samples out, let, let your customers taste it. Don't tell them. Just 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 say here's the different flavours we have. This is milk chocolate. This is um, a creamier one, and this is more of a butter one. Let them taste it and let them decide. Um, and you'll be surprised at how many people like the ganache. I think that was a good sales, sales little pitch there, do you think? Good. Do you like that? Is that good? Yeah. Yep. Right, okay, so now it's time uh, to get uh, serious and we're going to stick this cake on here and we're going to get, get, get the, the tentacles on. Okay, so I've left that hot glue gun on, so it's absolutely uh, probably boiling hot right now. So um, so what we need to do is, uh, obviously normally I want this to set before I even try to do anything like this, but I'm just going to have to just go for it. So release the, release the board, there we go. Now underneath there, because I put the ganache there, well that's fine, so that's good. So all we need to do is just release, uh, take away, scrape away this. Now obviously I'm going to be taking away some of the print, but we can just put it back on again. Okay, so just taking that off. There we go. Good. And then if Matthew could just give me a bit of that tissue paper, please. Thank you, so you're multitasking. <laughs> okay, and then just rub that away there just so they're gonna the hot glue sticks onto it okay good right so as i say it'd be better if it was dried first okay so i'm going to keep this on my hand just now i'm going to go over here i'm going to get the hot glue and we're going to just pop the hot glue all over this stand here lots and lots of it okay there we go good Okay, now bring this over here. I need to make sure the hole that I've made is, uh, lines up with there. You bring that around, bring it over to the cake, and we're going to squidge that down. There we go. Now, what we want to do is just hold it there for a wee second. I can see the glue squidging over the side. Actually, I wish I'd put some more glue on, but never mind. Okay, so that's good. So that seems like it's setting quite well. So while that's there, what we want to do is we want to Think of that knife or clean because I like using that one. We just want to fill around the edges with some sugar paste just to seal the sides of it. Okay, so I've got my scrap sugar paste here. Now I've got the, the wee hand marks at the top, but we'll fix that later on. So we just want to get little bits of sugar paste. Okay, I want to just small little bits off. And all we want to do is just patch in the side around there like that. Turn it around and then just pop that over there and we just want to just fill around that side there. Now when we come to put the tentacles on then of course it's going to hide that bit there so we just want to pop that on around there just squish that in there we go okay so you can see here just sealing it in there just don't be scared to push it in and it's just really helping to support the the cake on there. It should be set with the, the hot glue, but just in case. 
uh, and also once we come to add the tentacles it gives us something to blend it onto as well so uh, that's also part of that okay so I'll special this bit here so we can hide the the working so of course that's the whole thing isn't it we're trying to hide the armature and the structure of it there we go so it's just uh, it's just um incredible just seeing how many people are actually on here and, uh, and, and just the different talents it's just it's just great and it's what's been really nice is because um, a few a few of the members um, uh, were, were very kind to say that they'd actually started off with Kate Flex uh, or they'd actually been to one of my classes years and years ago and it's just incredible seeing uh, where they've went they've like surpassed the teacher which is always nice isn't it it's they've went, they went up and above uh, my skill level and uh, and now they're making these absolutely amazing cakes and it's uh, and I think a few people were really really like freaked out last week about the standard and uh, and that's and that's uh, that, that, that's that's what this group's all about is not to be scared and just to share your cakes and just and watch each other's journey so um so that's so I was saying I'm quite happy being at the level I am and there's there's people on here that are way more advanced than I am uh, and it's just it's just try to find your little happy place and, re and and be comfortable in your little happy place and that that's what it's all about Okay, so you can see there, I'm just going to round and just smoothen that off. Okay, now we're going to put the tentacles on there. Is it, is it tent I'm saying tentacle, tentacles, it is tentacles, isn't it? Yeah. The wee feeties, the feet, the, the arms. Arms, not feet, arms. <laughs> it's definitely not feet. Okay, there we are. Right. Now, underneath there, you're going to see all the workings of it, which doesn't look very good. So before we can go any further, we just need to fix that, because we can blend the legs onto there. So again, we need to hide how the whole thing works. Now I can't really turn the camera underneath, so uh, we're going to have to kind of do this blind. So I'll do it blind as well, just so it makes it, makes it a little bit easier. So I just get a little bit of ganache, and then we just want to pop the ganache underneath, okay, into all the wee bits. Just turn it around, and the ganache is, going to, is just going to act as a Watch your eyes when you're doing this, because that, that wire is very close to my eye right now. Get it all the way around. And don't worry if some of the ganache goes onto the sugar paste, you can easily wipe that away. Alright, there we go. Now remember this bit underneath here is uh, not going to be eaten, because it's underneath, so you don't have to worry about it. So again, get your paste. Now if anyone's been in my dragon course recently, this is like putting the wee bums on the, the dragons. Same idea. So, you've got a thick paste like this. Is that going to be too much? That feels a bit much. I'm mean, just going to take that because the idea is we really just want to hide all the, the, the workings of it. So there we go. Let's see what size of all that is. So it's about two, two inches. Okay. Now I've got a little four inch disc lying somewhere. I don't know where it's gone, but you could use it as a little template. But all I'm going to do is going to go around and I'm tapering it off. Can you see it? So tapering it off and really thinning out that edge so we can blend that on. All right. So that feels good. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a little touch of water just on my hand and I'm going to go round the edge so when I come to blend that, not, don't put it in the middle, just around the edge I'm going to dry it off and it just makes it easier to, to sculpt it. Now we've got the threaded rod at the back so what I'm going to do is just pinch a little bit away like that, leave the little bits hanging if you want and that just makes it easier to, to fix. Now I'm going to get that ganache there. Alright, so just pop that underneath there we go, and just pressing that on, and there we are, good, excellent, <laughs> just resting my hand up there as you do, okay so that's good, so that feels like it's definitely sticking on there, that's lovely, now what I'm going to do is just grab a little cup of water, two wee seconds, there's our wee cups, oh, there's our cups, spot size cakes are Paul, so how many portions would you like to get, that's a question from <laughs> is that a camera just falling over? That's okay, it's a spare one. It's the backup camera, it's fine. <laughs> well, you had to be drink, Mr. Bryce. Uh, I've got seen guys. So, what were you asking, uh, sorry? So, Alison asked, how many servings would you get from the cake? From this cake? Oh my goodness, I didn't even think about that. So, originally I was going to do a six inch, uh, a six and a, and a, a seven inch, and then I thought, you know, that's ridiculous doing that so big. But if I was doing this for a, a customer, I'd probably make it a lot bigger than this because it's a wee bit on the small side, but portion wise, but what do you guys think? I'm putting on the spot, I can't think, my brain's gone. Small so, size cakes? So, uh, this is a uh, five and a six, is it five and a six? Yeah. yeah, five and a six, no, four, 
Four and a five. Four and a five. Four and a five. Yeah. Um, four inch, what? Five, six. So about 20 portions, maybe? About 20. But yeah, what, 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 is there, what does everyone think watching? I would say 20. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a big feeder. Um, but of course, uh, you can always give your cutting cakes, as I always like to say, uh, out. There we go. So there we go. So we're going to round there, and I'm just taking away, just blending that up there. You can see I've got a wee bit of chocolate at the side there, but that's fine. Good. Right. Okay, so what does everyone think? Yeah. What's coming in? Um, Some people would just be saying four portions. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how hungry you are. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> There we go. Right. Okay, so I'm just taking some of those hand marks away there. And then down the bottom there, if you want, you can just put there. I'm not going to actually, we'll just leave that just now because we're going to put the tentacles on. Right, so you can see here, we're, oh, <laughs> we're, we're getting there. So you can see here, we've got all those lovely little arms. And we've definitely got his uh, little body up there, which is quite nice. His, his big brain. How, is that an autist got loads of brains or something like that? Was I reading that yeah, somewhere? Yeah, I think so. Loads of brains and yeah. loads of tummies. And yeah. Okay, so I'm just unplugging the glue gun because it's starting to smoke, which is not good. Right, okay, so there we are. So I'm going to give my hands a wee wash uh, and we put some water, more water in our wee cup. Uh, and now it's time for a little production line uh, for this. So just pop them over there and then just give us a wee wipe. So portion size, we're getting everything from four to about 20, but I think the Depends on hungry arms. Yeah, I mean, normally, normally when we're doing cakes, especially ganache cakes, it'd be a one inch by one inch portion um, that we, you would offer. Uh, so a one inch by one inch. So if that's a four inch cake, what's that? Well, you're going to get about uh, one, two, three, four, four, eight. eight. Eight or nine portions and then five. So yeah, so yeah, so you, I think about eight, maybe 18 sounds like a nice, a nice portion for that. Alright, so as I say, what you could do is make it obviously bigger, which is what I would do. Um, or just get cutting cake to go along with it, because it's still quite a big cake, even though it's quite a small. Danette said one, one portion of the <laughs> Put Danette in, 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 in Colorado. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay. Okay, so, uh, so there we go. So, uh, so I've opened a little two packets of uh, sugar paste. I want to just soften these up. Now, for the, the board, um, I've just got some sand to put on the board so it's quick, so you don't have to worry about icing the board uh, when we come to do that. Now, this sugar paste is going to be quite heavy, and I have used a soft aluminium wire, so I'm do, I do hope that it's going to keep the structure when we come to uh, put these tentacles on. I should maybe have checked that before we went live, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I just thought of that there when I was uh, starting to go out. Okay, so fingers crossed. It's actually going to work. Okay, so I'm going to roll like this. Now I think, I'm hoping I can get four tentacles from that. Am I being, oh no, maybe I'm, oh my goodness, is that, is that, let's just, oh my goodness, I think maybe I'm, well, I think we should be fine, are we? Yeah, maybe, let's see. Okay, we'll go for the smallest one first, which is right here. So let's go for these two. So, uh, so I'm rolling this out, and uh, obviously keeping that side thin, sorry, that side thick, I've got a bit of ganache on my finger that I know is just going to end up going somewhere. Actually, it's actually not bad. So if we lift that up, we made it far too long actually. Yeah, so there we go, so I can squish that. We're going to squish it in anyway once we attach it. Good, t good little technical term word there. Squish, so just make it, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. There we go, I'm really wanting this part to be the, the key part. So this is the bit that we really need to stretch. Because if you actually look, they've almost got like webbed feet, haven't they, if you look at them. So we need to open up this end piece so they're kind of joined onto each other as they go around. So just open that up. Now originally what I was going to do, I was going to cheat. Not cheat, but I was going to go for a quick quicker way. I was going to put the, the tentacles all on first, so they're all underneath. Smooth it all off, do all that. Have a nice flat plate and then put the cake on top and then just sort of so you, this will be a, a very obvious join. But I just thought it'd be quite nice for it to be all seamless, just like the, the real McCoy. Okay, so there we go. So we've got uh, a little, there's like a little tail or a little elephant trunk on there. So what I want to do is just get a little bit of water, uh, a little bit of water on there, and then uh, just give that a wee dab. A wee clean. Oh, that's got chocolate ganache on it. Let's get another one. Oh, now I've got ganache in my hand. Oh, oh. Starting to go into Paul 2 mode. 
Right, we don't want, we don't want to pull, pull too mode. There we go. Right, okay, so that's fine. Okay, so now what we want to do is we just want to pop that on in there and we just want to feed. Now, as you're pushing it on, you can actually feel the, the wire inside. Don't worry about this bit, just make sure you get the whole, the whole thing on and just make sure it's staying on the wire. Now, is that going to hold? Oh, it's holding. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then we just want to bring that all the way to the end, like so. And then that just gets stuck on there, like so. There we are. Good. And then once that's on there, then of course, it's just a case of dipping your fingers in the water and starting to blend onto the, the, uh, the body. So again, I don't want to be spending hours blending because that's going to be extremely boring. And I have actually got eight of these little malarkeys to do. So, uh, so there we go. So get that on there. Now I can see there the wire starting to come through a little bit. So you need to make sure that you've got the sugar paste on the upper level uh, of that and not the lower level. So I'm going to try and bring that sugar paste up and blend that a little bit better. Now before we start to shape it, what we need to do is actually make it into the shape. Before we smooth it, we need to get it into the shape because obviously that doesn't look right. Um, so I was thinking this one, I actually wanted it more down the way uh, because we're going to have that leg there. So we want a leg just on its own at the back there. So I'm going to put it down there. I'm going to bend that round. There we go. And then that gives us the first one on there like so. So, so Jane's saying that an octopus has three hearts and nine brains. No way. Yeah. And eight legs. Oh, what? Tentacles, I know it's got eight legs, but I didn't know it had how many hearts? Three hearts. Oh. Yeah. And it's got blue blood. Blue blood. Yeah, so, it's blood. so it's blue royal. <laughs> wow. So there you go. So you learn something new. So that must be when you see, when I was googling cartoon um, octopus, it was actually showing you a lot of them with um, love hearts and things. So obviously, that's where that was coming from. Mm. Okay, so you can see there, just blending that on there, like so, that looks good. And then once we've done that, then you can see I've got my little uh, tentacle the, the way that I want it. It's on there, and then it's a case of just going round and giving it a good old smooth, uh, and just getting it all nice. Now, you could, again, you can spend ages on it, and I really don't have ages on it, so you can go back and forward with your smoother, just getting round there. That's fine, and then getting your little piece of plastic, and then, of course, we want to go round and give it a texture on the, the upper side. On the lower side, we don't have to worry so much uh, because we're going to put the, the wee suckers on there. So more just on the sides. Now it's going to be a little bit wet, but you can see they're just on there like so, and then underneath like that. Okay, so look at that. Nice, and it just looks really nice. It definitely has a nice structure there. Um, so again, so I can turn it around. I'm going to use the smallest one I've got here. And then this time we're going to make it a little bit Could not as long. Could you use modelling chocolate instead of sugar paste? Yeah, definitely modelling chocolate would work a treat for this because it's obviously, now I've got loads of water on this worktop here. So I'm going to use a look. Look, I've got my, anyone from Canada watching? I've got a little uh, Banff uh, Canada, little tea towel there. It was supposed to be for my mum, but when I got back I liked it too much, so I decided to keep it. Sorry mum if you're watching. <laughs> okay, so I uh, turn it around, check again, so that's jolly good. And then just repeat the same process again. So again, remember the key thing here to make it easy to blend it on is making this bit nice and thin uh, on there like so. Now interestingly, I've just thought of something. Is there anyone watching that's made an octopus cake? So if you have, can, you, can people post pictures on the feed when they're doing this? Oh, no, I don't think so. Can you post pictures? No. No? Oh. Well, maybe afterwards, once we get this on, I'd love to see your, your uh, octopus well, pictures, which would be quite fun, uh, wouldn't uh, it? Tony Brady's joined, so you need to give her into trouble for being late. Oh, forget it, she's dro been dropping the kids off, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm sure, I bet that's what it's been. So they, these kids get far more um, time than me, it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, we've got Lisa on from the deep south of New Zealand. We like the south of New Zealand. Oh, yes, yeah. which part of New Zealand? Um, it's the deep south. The South, yeah. So we like we like New Zealand. Queenstown. Oh, um, so again, now what we do this time is because I was too, I was too close to the top when I put that last one on. So I'm going to make sure I'm putting pushing this on closer to the bottom. Okay, just so it's not I'm not to deal with the wire. So that was a good learning point. Now it'd be good if there was something to hold the cake when I'm feeding this on. But we're getting there. It actually feels like a little snail going on. <laughs> 
Okay, and then all the way up, stretchy, stretchy. Now, I was telling a funny story um, the other day there. Um, I don't know how it came up, but we're, anyway. So uh, we were in New Zealand. When were we last in New Zealand? It was like as in holiday. It was like long, oh, was long time ago. 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's what we're talking about boats. How David doesn't like going in a boat. Because we were in Australia, David out to the Great Barrier Reef. And he didn't really, really, really didn't want to go out to the Great Barrier Reef. Um, so we had a little, if you were at the demonstration at the weekend, I'm going to repeat this. So uh, so a long, long time ago we were in New Zealand, we went to a place, and I love seeing the name of it because it just sounds, it's a great name. So we went to a place called Fakitani, <laughs> and it's a place called the White Island, okay? See, it's just, it just feels wrong saying that, it feels like a naughty word, but it's not. So it's a place in New Zealand called Fakitani, and um, we went out to the White Island, and it's a volcano. And uh, we went out there, and it was uh, amazing, and it was very, very... Health and safety was not really much going on there, was there? Because <laughs> when we got out to the island, the, the actual pier or the harbour bit had been melted in the last eruption. So when you, when you, when you get there, sorry, just while I'm talking, just, I, I was using my finger wet, wet water, and then see if you just get your, your bone tool or one of the little tools, you can rough up the edge a little bit and just try, it just helps to try and blend that away. Like that, okay? So there we go. Good. Now this one, I think we want to sort of bring this one up a little bit higher, and then we can maybe twist it round like that. Now underneath it started to come away there, so I'm just going to give that a, a wee twist, and then maybe just really just bend that end, end over there. So we're just trying to get as many cool shapes as possible. There we go. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, so we went, went to an island called Fakitani. No, White Island. <laughs> from, from, uh, we left from an island, a place called the mainland called Fakitani. And uh, on the way there, it was amazing, and we got to see the volcano, and it was uh, all this smelly sulfur stuff and all that kind of stuff. And then, and I don't worry about too much about the underneath bit, because of course, we're going to put the suckers on there, so it doesn't really matter. So I just pop that on there. Like so, on the way back, this, a storm came in, and we actually thought that we were kidding on, because it actually looked fine. But they said there was a storm in and we couldn't actually leave from the, the bit where we arrived because it was too dangerous. Is that going to stay there? Look at that. Fantastic. Oops. So I'm not going to texture that just now because it feels like a bit soft. So I'm just going to leave that, pop that around there. So of course we're going back to the, the mainland and we're friends, Jamie and Drew, who had just moved to New Zealand. Uh, we're on the boat and myself and Jamie thought it was really funny, but David and Drew didn't think it was funny. And of course the boat was going, going like this and it really was everyone was like being sick and all that. Anyway, fast forward to three weeks ago, uh, we're in uh, Cairns, uh, no, Port Douglas, yeah. And I finally convinced David to go out to the Great Barrier Reef. And it was actually more the boat ride out than actually the water so much. Well, you didn't know like that because of the sharks and stuff as well. Uh, so we go out there and um, we're out there and uh, I'm, I'm being all excited and stuff and there's a hundred and the boat can hold up 450 people. Uh, this boat that goes all the way out to this, this um, place, this pontoon in the, the Great Barrier Reef, uh, it takes an hour and a half on the boat to get out there. Um, so it was a big, massive boat, so it wasn't really bouncing up and down. Anyway, we let everyone go off because we wanted to um, be last in, let, let everyone go out, and if there's any sharks, they'll all get eaten, and then we'll go in and it'll be all, all be good. So we let all, all 130 people, because it's a very small amount of people, because they've they, been so stormy. And um, so we, we got off the boat, uh, everyone's got off, we're the last ones off the boat. So we go and get our wetsuits, and it's th actually stinger suits because there's the jellyfish, the blue bottle jellyfish and the box jellyfish. And so we've got these stinger suits, and you imagine David's all wrapped up, his gloves and his mask. And, and uh, so anyway, so I, go out, I thought I'll go out first before David, and then, and then David can come out. And all of a sudden, I just looked right out, and there wasn't a soul, not a single, there was no, no one out. 130 people, I don't know where they'd went, but they'd all, I think they'd all went for the lunch first or something before they went out in this, out in the sea. So of course, now same thing again, just popping it in right at the bottom. Um, so all of a sudden, I actually got a little bit freaked, because when I was putting my flippers on, on the wee thing, it's kind of half in the water, half out of the water, all of a sudden there was like, oh, like hundreds of fish coming up, because obviously the new humans were there and they're probably going to drop stuff in, in the water. So all of a sudden there was all, all these fish, and I, I mean, you're not used to it, because when you, when you snorkel back in the UK, you see about four fish, and all of a sudden there was hundreds of, hundreds of fish. And um, so I got a little bit freaked, um, freaked out. Uh, anyway, I had to act brave in front of David, because he really, really didn't want to do it. He was, he was only doing it because I agreed to do something that he wanted to do. And um, so 
I put my I put my head under the water to have a look, and it's just you just see darkness and all these fish. So I actually had a slight a slight panic attack myself, but of course I had to act all brave in front of David because if he saw me flustered, he wouldn't have come in anyway. Uh, f- fast forward and David's getting his mask on and all of a sudden 130 people decide to go in the water at the same time and all of a sudden he's getting in a fluster trying to get his mask on and I'm like just come out just come out into the water so you, you can quickly you quickly put your mask on to get out and of course uh, having never snorkeled before poor David put his head under the water too fast as a wave came over this big random wave right, right over you at the top of your head didn't it yeah. and his first suck of air for the snorkel was actually filling seawater so he, f- he flung his head out of the water, and of course, not only was he sucking all this water in, he'd, um, his goggles had filled right up with water as well. Plus, his head was kind of at an angle, and of course, I've got a really ner- I have a nervous laugh when I when I get nervous, I start laughing. So I started laughing, and uh, as you can imagine, I can't I can't tell you what David actually said to me when he saw me laughing. Uh, I think I'll be banned from Facebook for life. <laughs> anyway, I was actually laughing that much. Only because I was nervous, I had to actually turn around and compose myself because I think he was actually going to knock me into the next country um, if I didn't stop laughing. So a, a little bit stressful, but actually, we're out there for about an hour and a half. Yeah, so w- once we actually got, got stabilised and all that, we're out there for about an hour and a half, and it was amazing. We got to see Nemo's and we saw giant clams, and David saw a green turtle. Yep. Yeah, so it was really good. So, really good. So, but we probably wouldn't do it again. Because it was a wee bit sad for the reef, wasn't it? It just, yeah. I think it was, uh, it's just been a bit overused. Right, okay, there we go. That was a story for That was just one, though. <laughs> I've still got loads yeah, to do. Yeah, five, stories. <laughs> five stories to go. So, uh, so should we talk about um, the thing, Majiggy? Pudsy beer. Pudsy beer. Pudsy beer. Yeah. Are you going to do that while I quickly try and do that? How does that sound? Yeah, we'll probably do that. Yeah, why don't you? Okay. okay. Yep. So will we start, Matthew, with the, the quick bike, with the bike size, to maybe do that? So you're going to go for a quick bike first? Yeah. Of, of Pudsy? Quick bike feet. Okay. No, so no, no. Yeah. So, so. Okay. Have you set it off? Let's go. Maybe get that camera on me, and then I'll I'll, I'll just talk away the pub to be and just let me know when it's good to go. And oh, okay, so uh, Pugsy Bear, as you've just seen Paul make uh, Pugsy Bear, he's done. Sorry, I'm just getting the sugar mess out. To your stories now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I've had two Pugsy Bears, so for anybody who doesn't know what we're doing, at Cake International this year, um, the Cake Flicks members and guest tutors are all going to put a cake, or a lot of them are going to put cakes on display at Cake International, so it's fantastic, we've got uh, the back of the BBC Children in Need, and we're hoping to raise £2,000 for them, and we're... I think it's 62% of the way there. So No way. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So we're doing well. So we've got 109 entries so far. So for anyone who wants to join, uh, any Cakeflix members, if you sign into the website on the... I need to point another way, isn't it? Because it comes across the screen that way. So the, the top uh, right-hand, if you're looking at your screen, top right-hand corner, uh, you click on your Pro button or the Premium button, and under there, the first link that you'll see will be uh, to take you to the, the Pugsy display. So hope you want to join in. What, what we're going to have there is a whole community and anybody who's been involved in the Cake Flicks displays before. Um, everybody makes great friends, great communities. And what we're really wanting to do this time, we're going to try and involve the Guinness Book of Records um, and see if we can get these guys involved. Um, although the BBC can't promise cameras being there, they think it will be a, of high interest, was what we were told. So we could well be getting um, the BBC children need cameras there, and who knows, they might even get the cakes shown on the show. So, so that's the, the big thing that we're, we're looking to do. So 
looking to raise money for charity. We're wanting to give Cape Flix members and guest tutors the opportunity to have a cake on display. Um, and it's it's not a competition, so it's a, it's a display feature, so there's no hassle. Don't feel, uh, I know a lot of people get a bit stressed out with competitions, but it's not that at all. Everybody's there caring, helping and supporting. So it's really what we are uh, wanting the Cake Flix community to, to be about. So hopefully that's um, all going to come good. So we've got uh, yeah, Cake International backing it, BBC Children in Need and Cake Flix members. So hopefully that's... Uh, what else is I going to say? The, yeah, the, the designs so, of the cakes. Yeah, so 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 far, Paul's made two uh, pugsies. So he started with the very basic ones, and he's he's building them up. So they're for uh, access by the public, so anybody can view them. And if you're not a Cape Flix member, or even if you are and you can't make the show, what we encourage you to do is to use these videos, which are free, um, to inspire you to hopefully make some cakes close to home, so you, if you make a Pugsy cake, raise some money, donate it to children in need, um, you know, that that's really what this is all about, so, you know, it's it's all about kind of sharing the love and sharing the Pugsies, so we've done two so far, um, a very easy one, which was a flat one, uh, the one that you've just seen, and they're going to get uh, more, advanced. more advanced as we go, so hopefully we're, we're going to have some great uh, Pugsies. In fact, I know somebody, um, I'm not going to mention any names in case it doesn't come to fruition, but the motorbike that you saw earlier, if you were watching earlier and you saw the chopper motorbike, um, somebody's going to try and do a Pugsy bear on top of the chopper mo motorbike. That's going to be that, so cool. That's going to be amazing. And yeah. I know that we're, we're getting questions at the moment of what size cake board to use for, for those that have already entered. And we're, we're kind of working with Cake International. We've got a a size in mind um, but for anybody who's in the, the Pugsy Bear Cake Flex group and um, we're hoping to get some definitive sizes over to you fairly soon so what we're wanting to do is really to get a, a reasonable uh, idea of the numbers and from that look at the space and then we can give you cake sizes so yeah lots, lots going on and we really really want to and um, be inclusive and use your imagination. That the, the idea is it's use your imagination. So, uh, you know, whatever, just think of a cake you've always wanted to make. So one that you've one that's going to push your boundaries. And uh, why not make it for children need and raise lots of money and push your push your skill level. Really, really good. Yeah. 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 Well, and, and that's uh, I mean, the, the only criteria BBC have given us um, is to make sure that it's we use Pugsy respectfully. Yeah, and so of course no defaming or you know just be very careful with what we're, we're doing but outside that it's really up to you it's your imagination definitely um, so it's really looking forward to seeing it i mean all, all the displays of how many years have we been doing the the, the displays is it four or is this a so for four christmas years. not christmas christmas not yes this is the fourth is this the oh, fourth, is this year? The fourth yeah oh no but in a lot of the seasons yes the seasons Oh, so no, it's yeah. just four. Uh, this yeah. is four. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so for the last four years, I mean, it's brought so many people together. In fact, I just found out today that uh, Hardeep and there's a, a group that have entered before the, on the the cake flakes table, and I think they're they're going to be involved in the Bake Off at Cake International. With the cake off. Cake off. Bake off. <laughs> what is a bake yeah. off? Oops, <laughs> about, uh, better cut that out, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting done for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, it's it's just brilliant, and everybody just gets on so well. Um, you know, it's it's just a, a lovely thing for us to be able to uh, witness. So, yeah. will we maybe put Pugsy on again, just so as we can let people well, see? They're, they're about the to go have a cup of tea, see the cakes, go to the toilet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. A wee biscuit. It, it's, we'll, we'll be back in one minute, starting from about there. <laughs>
again. Um, right, so Paul, Paul's on number seven of eight of his tentacles. Yay! Do you know each tentacle is a heart as well? Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're saying. It's not it's not just cakeology; it's biology <laughs> today. So uh, um, yeah, so so while Paul's finishing that off, I think you've, you've seen all the techniques that he's going to do. So it was the bit that he was most worried about. It's just repetition, yeah. repetition. So what I want to do is um, talk about the Cake Masters Awards, and they've just a couple of days ago, Cake Masters have started to look for uh, pre-orders uh, for for tickets for the awards. So for anybody who's not been to the awards, um, it's a, a you know it's an amazing event. You know that it really is so professionally done. Everybody's there in their black tie. Yeah, it's it's tiring because you've you've been at the show for probably two days and you've still got a day to go. But you know it's it's a fantastic event and you know you, I don't think there's anywhere else who gets so many cake people or cake royalty. I suppose we could say all under one roof at the same time and it's it's a great night um yeah i think last year i ended up singing what was it um, oh my goodness yeah fernando hear the drums fernando so <laughs> yeah the, the, the wine was flowing and uh, it, was, it was a good good night all right um, it's, it's an excellent night yeah so but so what, what we've, we've, we've done i mean cake flicks in the last uh, four or five years we, we've booked a number of tables so what we've done this year we've uh, put out on the facebook groups for the, the pro members and the Pugsy Display um, members to uh, ask if they would like to attend. So all all we ask is if you're a, a Cake Flix member and you'd like to attend, just email me. So it's easy, it's david at cakeflix.com. Um, so it's £95, you don't have to pay anything just now. And all we're really doing is putting in a pre-booking uh, request to, to Cake Masters. So we'll put 40 seats on pre-order and we've got seven of those seats are still available so seven is it only seven only seven and oh it was only goodness. last night that we we put that out so wow we, we always have a good time it's a good knees up and uh well, D- david always has a good time always a good time <laughs> it's, um yeah so it's, 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 it's a it is a, it's 95 pounds yes it's a lot of money but you know you, you're only going to get this chance once a year so you know if, if you can and we'd just love you to be part of the cake flicks uh, group or uh, table display because I mean, actually, you know, Paul, Paul does get a bit emotional because he's been working for two days by the time we get to the, the awards at night, and uh, yeah, so so when when even you know, we've, we've been lucky enough to win for it the last five years, I've been nominated every year, and when we hear or when you hear your name getting announced, and there's a, a bit of a cheer, you have a yeah. little tear in your eye, I get a bit emotional, a, a bit emotional. So, thanks for that, David. Anyway, I think I think that's you on tentacle eight soon. So yeah, I'll, I'll disappear and start answering answering questions and stuff. Well, no, no, keep, keep, keep waffling, keep waffling. Keep waffling. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd run out of sugar paste. <laughs> anyway, so if you can make Kate Masters, drop me an email. I've uh, at katefix.com and the first seven uh, to to book will get the last seven spaces, and hopefully we'll get that those. Uh, 40 seats confirmed by Cake Masters. I can't believe there's only seven left out of 40. <laughs> That's crazy. So, and uh, you know, it's anyone, anyone who's, anyone who's a, a Cake Flex member uh, can join us. So you don't have to be part of the anything. You can just, as long as you're a member, you can come. Because uh, a lot of people go on their own. Um, so of course, well, it's that's just why we started doing. Yeah. So a lot, of, a lot of um, members wanted to come to the show, but they were didn't want to be on their own so we thought we'll, we'll have the group together yeah and there's a lot of people just come back every year now so that tells you um, how good it is yeah so right i'll go and let you get on with cake gracias good good that's well so look at this look so we've got all the wee tentacles on we've got all seven on uh, so we've just got the last one uh, to go on there can you see that yeah okay so it's really coming together okay so um so what i want to do now is just really get the the last one on, and it's to try and hide the bit underneath there. So, uh, so what I want to do is just roll a piece. Um, so that's fine. So there. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer, like so. And then we want to do the same thing as before with the suction part, but this time we want to open, open it up. So as you're cutting, just stretch it open, roughly halfway in. Now, what will happen is it'll make this a little bit on the big side, but we can squidge it to make it smaller. 
Now that's, that last bit we don't have to worry about because that's the bit that's going to be curling round the way. Okay. Now once you've got that open, if you, even if you've got like the, um, a ball tool, uh, you can just go in there and just make it a little bit wider. There we go. Like that, and then we want to get a little bit of water. So just pop a little bit of water in there just so it's sticky. There we go, that's fine. And then this top piece here, the same as before, we just want to flatten it down so it sticks on there. It's going to be really difficult for you to see. So what does I'm going to move this tiny point away. <laughs> that one out of the way. There we go. Oh, that actually looks looks better like that. All right, so what we want to do is just pop that on, pop it round, and then just get that on the board there, like so. Okay, and then just get that on there and get really on. Like so. Okay, so once that's on, it's, it's hard to see because it's underneath. We just went to bed and then just blend that on. Now, oh, remember I was saying I'm not doing the, the blending like how I, I'd normally do just because of the time, the time frame. Okay, and then just really smoothen that on there as much as possible. Okay, so once that's on there, what we've got is this little piece here that's, that's loose. Okay, so if we get on our wire, we just put the wire. So a little bit of wire, okay, and then we just want to cut a, release the wire, cut a little bit of wire, okay, <clears throat> and then we just want to pop that in, and it's just going to hold it in a bit of a shape, just so it stays up, okay. So first of all, I need to just place it in. Is it going to be too long? It's going to be too long. So it's a little bit smaller, okay, and then I just need to feed that in. And, there, and just stretch it over like that. Okay, and I need to just bend that round just so it stays up like that. Okay, turn that around. Okay, now I'm not getting the best curl from it. So once we get the sand on, uh, we can then give it a bit more of a curl around there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of sugar paste underneath it just to lift it up and then we'll make sure the sand hides that when it's underneath there just so we're getting that shape yeah that looks good now of course it is straight so i was we could have went for a, 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 a shaped leg but the idea is when we bring the other legs down now i need to put some texture on there first before i do that so just bend that and pop that in okay, and then just a little bit of texture underneath Okay, and around like that. Okay, so there we go. Nice. A bit more on this side. Now, don't worry about that like sugar paste. That will get hidden with the, sh the, the sand. And then what we can do is just have a look at it. So we turn it around so it's facing me. And I want to look, I want to just make sure I've got enough legs down so it doesn't look like it's just on its own. Uh, that, that one there. And then bring that one down. So we can just change them up. And you just see what we're happy with. So that looks good. Actually, move this one a wee bit higher up. There we go. Excellent. Good. So I think that looks nice. That's got a nice composition. It's got a nice shape, a nice flow to it. So there we go. So that's looking good. Right. So now what we want to do is just um, soften this up. And I think it's just a bit time to get on to the, the eyes. Now, what I want to do is just get the rolling pin. So a big rolling pin, now if you're on the, the puffer fish at the weekend, you know what I'm about to do next. We want to just push in to get the eyes. Okay, so just turn it around. So there, there's the middle part there. And then we just want to create that. This is, this is where we'll go the cartoon style, obviously. Uh, so I want to just pop that in there. Pop that in there. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Nice, good. And then once we've got that in there, what I want to then do is I just want to create an eyebrow sort of above. Now we're going to put the eyes in there, but we can't put the eyes in until it's been airbrushed. So uh, I'm just going to get a little ball, cut it in half. Oh, no, no, sorry. I was thinking ahead there of the mouth. So I'm going to just, a ball, flatten it down. Okay, there we go, that's good. And then we just want to cut that in half like so, so we've got that shape there. Now once we've got that shape there, what you need to do is either get your finger or one of the little tools, like this one here, and then we want to go underneath and just want to push that in 
So we've got somewhere for the eye, to, the eye socket to go into. And if you want, you can do little marks, almost like little eyelashes, just to add a bit more cartoon to it. So it's something like that. Okay, so the same thing again, so just pushing it in. And just kind of flatten, thin out the end, ends like that. There we go, and then just brush. There we are. Beautiful. Okay, and then just a little bit, a little bit of water, and we just want to place that on there, and on there. Good. So just lift that up. Okay, and then I just want to place them on there, like so. Okay, and then I want to place this one on this side, and then. So just get them on and you can see we've got enough space for the eyes to sit inside. There we go. I'm just going to bring that a wee bit higher up. Now, I'm just trying to do this. Yeah, I'm doing this squint, I've just realised. Uh, so excuse me for doing this towards myself. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to just stretch that up. There we go. Good. All right. So once we've got that on, just going to give it a little twist up, a little twist down. There you go. And then once you're happy with that, uh, then again we can add the texture. So just getting your little texture mat, and then I can just press that on like so. Okay. Nice. Good. Right, and so just push them back up again. There you go. Let's see. Yeah. Good. Okay, and I want to give a little beak, and again, very, very similar, if you were at the, uh, I can't I call it a nose, but it's not a nose, it's a beak. Everyone alright over there, chaps? Are we still alive? Yeah. Yeah, we're still alive. Okay, that's fine. I thought we'd, I thought we'd lost the life for a second there. Okay, so just give my hands a wee wash. Uh, we just want to do a little beak. Okay. Right. Let me Hands are still wet. Okay, so let's just see. Whoa, that's definitely Botox. Some fillers going on there, so just uh, there we are. Now, sorry it's taking a wee while, you know what I like? I never like doing anything just small when I'm doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> I, like to do, I like to do it for the long, the long, the big ones. Okay, so two sausages, one slightly bigger than the other one, and then you make it into a rugby ball shape, and then you want to cut the back off. Okay, so I'm cutting the back off so they're flat, then you, you, you roll them over, to the flat side, and I just want to place that on there like so, and it gives us like proper little lips. Okay, once we've got the little lips, pop some glue on. Okay, and I want to go across to the the. Uh, I was going to say the jellyfish, across to uh, what is it? <laughs> Octopus. Oh my goodness. Okay, and we're just adding those little lips, little funky lips on there like that. So. Now, of course, you want to open the lips up to get a bit more, a bit more shape. Uh, get a, a damp paintbrush, and then you want to go in, and of course, we can open up those lips, like so. Okay, there we are. Very good. Oh, that looks good. Nice. And just the more you push the sides, the more you get that sort of uh, fish pout, uh, and we want that to really stick out there like that. So that looks good. Now, I feel like I want to give those lips a little bit of a texture, so I'm just going to go on with the sponge, just so they're not just smooth. All right, good, that's fine. Good, that's it, good, I'm happy with that. Right, okay, let's get this all cleaned up, cleaned up to the side. I'm not tidying up because we're taking forever. There we go, that's fine. I don't want you to be staying up till midnight. Right, okay, time to get the turntable out and get the airbrush switched on. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna lift, lift them up to the turntable. Can you still see up there? That's good. So, um, so what we want to do is we're going to have to go a little bit underneath uh, with this, and then a little bit up top. So we're, we're going to do the underneath first, and then we're going to do the top second. So we're going to get some blue uh, food coloring. So actually, these are just watercolors. Uh, so I'm using uh, a sky blue. So just give it a wee shake. These, as I say, just water. Switch the airbrush on. And pop some in. Now I just want a very light spray. I don't want it to be too heavy. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just using a Spectrum Flow uh, compressor or an airbrush. Now, where's my kitchen roll gone? There it's there. Right. Okay, so a wee test spray on the, the tissue. Okay, so you can see there we've got a nice uh, blue colour coming out there. And what I'm going to bring my seat over. So what we need to do is we need to go underneath. So we want a wee bit of blue un underneath there. Now you have to be careful with this. Uh, so we don't want to get any blue sort of really up the top. So I'm going to put the tissue there. And then we're just going to go on. And just a little bit of blue underneath there. So I, I don't know if you can see that. You can see that there? Yeah. Okay, and I just want to do that all the way around. So again, tissue up top. And uh, we just want to go a little bit of blue underneath, like that, good. And then we're just turning that around. So this one here, we can hardly see it, so I'm just going to just give it a little, a little bit of blue on the sides. Don't worry if you don't get it right underneath. And then a little bit underneath there, just so you can just, just see a little bit there, okay? Same with this one, I'm not going to worry about going right underneath. We're going to give that illusion that it's going under. If I can get that little line bit there, there we go. Okay, same thing. Now, obviously, I've not smoothed these tentacles out because obviously I've not got time, and it's that little bit of perfectionist thing you just want to finish it off. But the idea is, it's just showing you how to how to do a nice little structure like this, and it's a fun cake uh, to make if you've got the time to do it properly. <laughs> okay, so just underneath. There we go. Look at that, beautiful. And then off this one here. Now we've got a wee bit of sugar paste sticking down. There we go. Okay, and I've got the back end of the, the one there, so I've got a little bit of blue there, definitely blue there. And that blue really draws your eye around, so it makes sure you realise uh, where the, the curves are. Okay, good. That's fine, happy with that. So I'm just going around, just making sure you can definitely see that blue as we go around. That's fine, a little bit more blue there. Right, I think we're good. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the, all the, the suction pads, obviously I'm not going to do them all tonight because that will take uh, far too long. So we'll just be doing a few at the front just to give you the idea. Alright, so there we go. So that's nice. Now what I'm going to do here with the blue is I'm just going to pop a little bit of blue into the eyes. Just on the inside there like that. Just to slightly darken it down. There we go. Like that. Now all I want to do is with the airbrush, make sure you've got no drips happening. And all I want to do now is just go around and we just want to do little spots and, and instead slightly larger ones. All the way around, just little dots. All the way around. And then so when we come to do the airbrushing on top, um, it just darkens that area and it just adds to the, the magic of our octopus. Look at that. Now you can see here, I'm being very, very fast. Uh, fast, fast, fast. But obviously you can go a lot slower. Now just get those little dots on. Okay. Now I've probably got airbrush specialists watching this freaking out. That I'm well, I saw Ben on earlier on. Is Ben on? Oh, don't tell me these things. Um, don't tell me Claire's on as well. Is Claire on? I haven't seen Claire, but oh. she might be on. Uh, Dorothy Claire, just before you said fast, 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 said fast, fast, fast. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys. I knew I'd taken on a big challenge, but but that, that, I wanted to celebrate this new page. We're doing something a bit, a bit big and special. And, and Dot, thank you very much. It was you who gave me the inspiration for the stand for this one, if you've just joined. I use your spider structure for this one. It's a great little structure. Okay, so you need, someone needs to tell me to stop adding the blue because I'm just getting excited here and I need to move on to adding the orange. Someone going to tell me to stop? No, is it quite happy to, for me to keep oh. on going? <laughs> right, okay, one more, two more, right now, there we go. Right, there we go. Oh, oh, a few more at the back. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. Stop, stop, stop. Right, okay, so I'm going to switch that off. Now, actually, I, I should have put the blue in the wrong, I put the blue in the wrong one. I should have put the blue in the smaller one, but never mind. Right, so now we're going to move on to the orange. Where's my orange? So I'm just using it again. It's a water base. That's egg yellow. We don't want that. Uh, so we're going to use the, just the orange again. Spectrum Flow. Thank you, Spectrum Flow. And uh, open that up. And we just want to pop the orange in. Okay, so I've put quite a lot in there. Maybe a wee bit too much. But there we go. Now, this pen has given me problems before, so let's just hope uh, I've cleaned it out properly. It was need a wee clean. 
Oh, so far so good. All right, okay. So off we go, and we just want to then really just add that nice warm orangey color, uh, which I was actually thinking we might add a little bit red, uh, just to sort of uh, spruce things up a little, make it a little bit darker. And you can see here straight away just adding that orange in. Look, see that? Look, beautiful. There we go. All the way around. Fantastic. Now, I was at the Sugar Craft Guild at the weekend, so I'm just going to fill a little bit here. And um, they're, um, it's just such, it's, it's such a great organisation. It's been around for a long time. When I, went, I, I first went to Sugar Craft Guild, I was at college, and uh, Mrs. Young, Cecilia, my, my teacher, took me along to one of the, the nights. And it's just such a great thing. And it's, um, but they need more members. So if you've not heard of the Sugar Craft Guild, if you live in the UK, go on their website, have a wee look. And uh, have a look, see if there's any meetings near where you are, and uh, enjoy and go along because there's, there's people, artists go along and, and do demos. Maybe not as big as this, but they go along and they do demos, and then you have a wee cup of tea, and people bring in home baked cakes, and they have cake competitions and all different things. So it's re they really need to get some uh, new blood in their their, their meetings. So um, have a wee look, you'll be surprised. There may be one nearby uh, that you can join. Okay, so look at the difference just getting that colour on there. You can see how nice it's really just really making it pop. Now you should be wearing a mask if you're doing this as well. I'm not wearing a mask, I'm being naughty. Okay, so on there. Now, I like that, but I feel like I, I do want to add a little bit more of the, a bit, a bit more red, just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna just try and bring some of that orange over onto the blue, just so we've got a kind of crossover. So that looks nice, and this, as I say, this is just a water-based uh, orange that I'm using. It's not the alcohol one. And it's actually drying really nice, actually, probably because it's so warm here. There we go. And then obviously, I need I don't don't forget the weekend for the meat. There we go. Nice. Okay, so you can see there we've got that on there. David, are you getting going to have a, an asthma attack? No, uh, Sally Marshall's asking what colour I'm turning. <laughs> yeah, it, look, it looks like he's been on one of those programmes. Yeah. <laughs> orange, orange <laughs> yeah, the only, only way is Essex, wherever it is called. <laughs> right, okay, so that's that on. I'm going to switch that off just so we can have a little, a little rest. Uh, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of red in there just to add a little bit of uh, more colour and a bit more depth there. Okay, so just. Uh, oh, this hasn't actually been opened yet, I can tell because it's far too clean looking. Okay, so. So, Kevin Williams said that it's, um, it's been a fab show, she's off to the big. Aberdeen Guild Group. Oh. God, God help them, she says. Oh, <laughs> so that's Kelly McWilliam. Oh, that's good. Oh, Kelly. Kelly. Is Kelly been watching? Yeah. Oh, yeah. excellent. So, congratulations to Kelly. Uh, Kelly won uh, a gold medal at the Sugarcraft Guild at the weekend, and uh, I think she won Best in Show as well. So, uh, very, very, very cool. So, our, our heat will be huge now because uh, Kelly's from the, the north of Scotland, and that's how she speaks. <laughs> And she made a, an alien cake, which is really, really cool. So I've added that red in there, but it's not quite went as red as I want it. So I'm just going to add a little, little bit more just for good measures. There we go. Right, let's just see. Just going to just, there we go. Just, if you put the needle on it, yeah, there we go. That's it, good. Right, okay, so I'm just going to see if I can just, and all I want to do is just add more spots to it. But a little bit bigger and it'll just add a bit more redness to it and uh, even just a little bit around the eyes and you just try to give it a little bit more uh, color like the lips would be quite good a little bit more red there we go that's fine and again just around and all i'm doing is just adding the shadows uh, and, and the red color rather than using like a black so i'm going around there and you just and what you can do is you, i brought luster dust out there and uh, it's a little bit of gold spray, but I'm not going to use the gold spray. I was going to give it a little bit of a gold uh, tonight, but I think we'll just leave that because we ain't got time for that. Okay, so there we go. So I just Dave is giving me the nods. He's like, Paul, oh, hurry up. He's uh, wanting to get. No, Tony O'Grady said that she's uh, been up, had breakfast, taking the kids to school. She's now making lunch. No way. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah. <laughs> ha ha. Ha ha, Tony. <laughs> Right, okay, right, there we go. How's that? That looks good. Okay, tell me to stop. I'm getting too excited again. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more red just at the top. There we go, just around there. There we go. That's right. Good. 
and a little bit on my eyes, just to mark dark it down. There we are. Excellent. Good. Right. Okay. So I just pop that in my little Spectrum Flow holder. Good. You think I was getting sponsored by them? Maybe I'm getting name dropping. Right. Okay. So that's that on there. So you can see here, we're looking, it's looking looking quite octopusy looking. Um, so what we need to do now is get the tentacles up, the suction pads on, and the eyes on. So I'm going to give my hands a quick wash. Any, any questions, David? Uh, oh gosh, yes. Um, Margaret says she practices on paper first, which is always a good idea. Oh, with the airbrush. The airbrush oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Lindsay says, oh, so she's replying to another question. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just encouraging airbrush use. Don't, don't be, don't definitely don't be scared of the airbrush. That's what we always say. Excuse me. That's what we always say. Um, just get the airbrush out. Practice on practice on dummy cakes, or even better, practice on family cakes because uh, they've no idea and it's usually a freebie or half the price so you can you can practice on the family cakes right so a little bit white for the eyes there i just thought i'd get that out there and then for the, the suckers we want to put the suckers on um but we want to get any space so that's why you don't want to throw out the color because we don't want to just be pure uh, ivory or white now so for doing the suckers as i say i'm not going to do them all because it'll take too long what we want to do is we want to roll a little sausage like that and you can see here, it's kind of tapering down. And then the idea is we want to cut, and you've got the wee ones, and then they get bigger and bigger as they get closer uh, to the, the body, or the head, or whatever it's called. Like that. Okay, and then once you get that, you want to do a little ball and just drop them down. Okay, it's little balls. And all we do is we just attach them on to the, the tentacles, and as you attach them on, we put the wee hole for the suction pad on. Now it's interesting because when I was when I was uh, having a wee Google of octopus, um, it was, there was a video of a, a, a diver uh, being attacked by a giant octopus, and it was actually trying to pull him down <laughs> into the deeps of the water. Oh my goodness! And there was another one where a man actually out the water, and it was actually on him, pull, trying to pull him back into the water. It's uh, nowadays where we've got all these uh, TV, uh, all these GoPros and uh, things. You, you start to see more, uh, so it de definitely puts you off going into the into the, into the water. Okay, so there we go. So that's that done. And then all we want to do now is we just want to get your little, um, the, the, the smallest ones first, a little bit of water, and you just want to stick them on. So once that's on there, just using the back of your uh, paintbrush, and you want to stick them on. So you can imagine, it uh, actually, do you know what, see, because that's just water. Yeah, that's good. So uh, so now, as you get bigger, you're going to have to use different um, tools. To, to, so I can still use a paintbrush just now, and you can see there it just goes on. So the good thing is, as I say, because the, the water, it's water-based colours, uh, the actual surface is quite wet. So you can see there, is Matthew picking that up all right? Yeah. And all we're doing is going down there, when you start to get a little bigger, I can then start to use bigger uh, circles there. Okay, so down there. And it's good thing is, you can see here, we start to hide. So if you've got any of the joins, it's kind of taking your eye. You can still see them a little bit, but um, it's fine. It's only a cake, isn't it? Let's not get too worried about it. So you can do slightly smaller ones as well. If you actually look at them, there is small, small ones and, and bigger ones. Okay, so just pop that on there. After watching that video, I think if I'd watched that video and I'd actually, if I'd saw an octopus when I was uh, scuba diving, I think uh, uh, snorkeling, I would have, uh, I would have kissed my pants, so to speak, uh, if I'd saw one. So just going down there, adding a really big one on there, so using the ball tool, and then going right underneath there like that. So you can see there how nice that looks. And it really just adds to the, the whole uh, value of the cake. You know, I've just thought that this week's tutorial. Uh huh. This week's tutorial is another under the sea thing. Oh my so goodness! Is that because you've been? That is, isn't it? That's yeah. me. I've been, I've been affected. So it's Dorothy's fault for doing her, um, her amazing uh, under the sea member at oh Brisbane. Yeah. At Brisbane. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that was amazing. Our diver. Uh, the, it was a great. It was a great coral reef. Yep. And then we went to the coral reef. So uh, reef. the great barrier reef, even yeah. So obviously I've, I've been more affected by it than what I realised. <laughs> so so, uh, so that this week's tutorial, which is coming up on Thursday, is the coral reef. Oh, is it? And have we got a little snapshot of it? Is that oh, possible? I think, I think. I think. Yeah, but we're on it. So oh, Matthew's Matthew showing it now. Oh yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Good, what, good, good. What, like a video or is it a picture? Um, just a picture. Just a picture. Yeah. So, so right. just while we're on there, you're just putting stoppers on there. Yeah, you so, can. You can. Um, you so can. We'll, we'll also, for anybody who's not a member of Cape Flix, why not? Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, we've got a seven-day free trial, so that's for premium and pro 
access, um, come along and give us a try. And yeah, there's a little slide on there now just to show the seven day free trial. But I see most of you are already members or, or tutors, so, so that's fab. But we've got to put a little plug in and yeah. make it all worthwhile. So we'll, we'll go back to Paul now. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is just to get the effect. Uh, I'm just putting a wee, just what you can see from the front, because obviously I really, really can't spend uh, all night doing these little suckers. <laughs> these little suckers. Okay, so I just pop that on there. Actually, it's actually quite therapeutic making them. I could actually be doing them all night. So you can see they're just putting them on. You've got the little suckers on, which looks really good. Uh, now, before I get my hands dirty again, I'll, obviously I want to just pop the eyes on. So I've got some white uh, sugar paste. Okay. Right. Okay, so little balls. Just check the size. Yep, that looks good. So once you've got the size that you're happy with, you then want to cut the back off them to make them smaller. And so they actually go in there flush. And then once you cut the back off, just check to make sure they look they look good. Turn them over, and I just want to put a little bit of water on the, the back. And then just give them a little pinch in. A little pinch in like that and then when we come across to attach them on you can just pop them in and just get a nice rounded eyeball okay there we are nice there we are good and then just pop that one in same thing just get a nice rounded eyeball there fantastic oh ain't she looking beautiful <laughs> i've decided to see because of the eyelashes okay so there we are so that's them in there. Okay, so good. Now the one thing I've just realised I've not got, I've never got any blue and black out, so even anything else you to talk Yeah, about? so Dance and Bakes has just asked if the cake was to be made bigger, could you use Rice Krispie Treats and Marshmallows for tentacles? Yes, you could, yeah. So if you're going to do Rice Krispie Treats and Marshmallows, then you probably want to um, get some chocolate out. So once you sort of mould the, the tentacles and the Rice Krispie Treats, I would go over it with some chocolate just to make it extra extra strong before you try and ice, but it's going to be really difficult that way actually when you think about it, because you're going to have to then rice crispy treats chocolate on and try and ice over the top. But as long as your structure is nice and strong, there shouldn't, there shouldn't be any problems at all. Yeah. Um, so that was a good question. Any more questions, Mr. Bronze? Any more questions? Um, well, Tony's just saying that the... Uh, oh, she's, she's making dinner now. Coral reef that uh, Dot and Margie did was, was amazing, which it was. It was, it was out of this world. Full size diver as well. It was, yep. 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 Um, so that's the Brisbane Cake Show. And uh, Margaret, 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 Shepherd says she's petrified of the sea and she has some more land based cakes. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> So you want some spiders and snakes? We'll do some spiders yeah, and snakes. Well, we, we can do a snake, can't we? <laughs> We've never made a snake before. Uh, I, th I think I could do a tutorial on a snake. <laughs> so just, just Sammy the snake. <laughs> That'd be really cute, wouldn't it? Right, so just lift that up, and then uh, we just want to place the eye on. So I'm going to go for really big, really big eyes. There we go. Look at that. It'd be nice Good. if Matthew's going to make a cake at some point. Yeah, I think we should get Matthew to make a cake. I think that would be good fun. Yeah, what do you think, Matthew? Yeah. Well, remember a long, long time ago we had, uh, was it uh, Paul, Paul Dauphin, who did the camera work. So uh, so um, I think I think it needs to, oh my, and, and David made a cake at Christmas. Oh, maybe that's what we do. Yeah. We do a cake off, that's it. What do you guys think? I think we should have a cake off. So I think at Christmas, on Christmas Eve, we should get David and Matthew to do a cake off, a challenge, you've got to both make a cake at the same time, same ingredients, and it's to be Christmassy. Okay. That's a great idea. Oh, what do you guys think? I think, let's see thumbs up for that one. I think that'd be so good. Christmas Eve, a bit of fun, glass of wine. Are we actually gonna be here at Christmas? <laughs> what, what do you guys need to remember that that will rely on Paul working the cameras in the live stream. Well, which will be really fun. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Yes. Let's do that. Is, is, well, Matthew, will you be here? <laughs> yeah, you'll be here. Well, well Shannon might be here. So she, be, she can help with the cameras. I think Shannon and Paul would, uh, Shannon and uh, Matthew would be a better competition. No, 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 because uh, everyone likes to see David. You've got to, you, you've got to make a cake once, once every year. 
Right, okay, so a little bit of black. I'm, I'm just going to case these eyeballs actually fall out because they're so huge. No, cake off's getting a lot of love. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Sorry, Matthew. Oh my goodness. So you guys need to make sure it really happens. So I just in case I forget. Okay, I've got a feeling these eyeballs are going to fall out the head. They're so big. Okay, so let's just see how we get on here. So we'll pop that on there. There we go. There we are. So there we are. Okay, nice. And then we just want to get the wee, the wee a bit of glint from the... I've got a few more of these eyes going to fall out. I don't know why. They feel very heavy. <laughs> we'll see. A bit more fun if they fall out. Okay, so just a little bit of sparkle in the eyes. Now, if you had more time, again, you could do more with the eyes, but I'm just... I'm really just trying to get these these done as quickly as possible. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on there. Yeah, Christmas. So we need to come with an idea of what what you can make. Christmas time, the Rock and Rudolph. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what a Rock and Rudolph? No, that was too big. That would take forever. There we go. So just popping the a little reflection on the, the eyes, there we go, and then maybe just a little bit at the side. And then all we've really got to do now is get the, the sand on the, the board, and uh, I was going to give it a little glaze, but uh, as if she's all, all wet, but oh no, that's far too big. So just make sure you just do a wee tiny, a tiny little flex for underneath so it doesn't bounce. You could paint the eyes and make them, uh, or even use isomalt if you're into isomalt. You could make eyes and eyes, which would be really cool. I think that's a tutorial that we need to get on on here is an eyes and malt. Oh no, that, that's one of the things it's been asked for. Eyes yeah. Malt. Yeah. So uh, I've spotted someone that we're going to see. Okay. So there we go. So that's a little eyes on. So that looks fine. Um, now, if I just find, if I can just quickly find, uh, yeah. So a little licorice pen. So a little pen, and what we can do is just put little, lots of little lines around there just really flicking them on so the thinner the the brush the better just for the cartoon element and just delicate and it just lifts the eyes okay all the way around lovely jubbly there we go what day is this I've, I don't, I've got absolutely uh, is this Tuesday no, right, okay. for the next 58 minutes <laughs> there we go that's fine just push all that out of the way okay and then for the sand see we're almost finished so I've got some biscuits okay so just no biscuits I just got my rolling pin smashed them up nice yeah you got that yeah okay and I'm just going to get some gold luster dust now I've got actually way too much in there so uh, I'm going to well, just... Clyde suggests we do a Pugsy Bake Off Cake Off. A Pugsy? Pugsy Cake Off. Oh, well, mind you, we won't be past that by Christmas, but... Oh, that's it. It's all year round. Oh, so it is, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to add in the gold, just to get the gold sand. Well, that looks nice. I've got a little bit of fractal colour, and it's a really dark one, so I'm going to just chuck that in. Okay, so there we go. Chucking that in, and then you can see all the, the sparkles coming up there. So that looks nice. Okay, and I just need to get the ribbon on. So where's the ribbon? There's the ribbon. Oh my goodness, where's the glue? Have we got glue? Where's my, where's my glue stick? Ah! Oh my goodness, I don't have a glue stick. Oh my goodness, right now, just turn that on. Right, okay, so uh, while I'm waiting for that to, to warm up, uh, what I can do is just pop, start, and now what you want to, is you want to put the ribbon on first, um, just so that it keeps it in place. So I'm just gonna just, Spread some of that on and really chuck it so you can't see the see the stand at the back there. You catch that Matthew, the glue at the back there. You see it? Yeah. Yep. So we just want to just chuck there. We go. Look straight away. It's gone. Okay. And all the way around. Oh, it doesn't matter about the ribbon, does it? It looks it looks fine with that bit of ribbon. There we go. So you can see straight away the the wee, the wee tentacle on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't look as silly now because it's hidden with the oh that's beautiful beautiful reef sand at the bottom of the, the ocean. There we go, like that, that's good. Right, and then all we have to do is take that away, clear that up, that's fine. Now the eyes would be good as a wee, a wee bit glazy. So I've got some shell and shine. Okay, so just give the eyes a wee shine. There we go, and it, let's just give the whole thing a little shine actually. There we go, oh my iPad and phone's gonna be covered. 
And then the last thing, just to very quickly, while we're waiting for the glue to warm up, uh, is just get the airbrush on. And we just want to go over the wee tentacles a little bit with the orange. Just so they're not as bright. Just a bit of warmth on there. Yeah, that looks good. And then a bit right there. And obviously do that with all of them, so that's good. Maybe a little bit just on there, just to warm that. Good. And then hopefully uh, we can get this ribbon on. Now, oh, do you know what? I'm not going to do the ribbon because I've not got my glue stick. And unless it's in the top, the second drawer down, Mr. Bryce. Crit stick? Yeah, is there a crit stick in there? Mm. Is there no crit stick? Do you know what? I think, I think, I think I've actually taken that away with me and left it in, left it in the last country I was in. No, can't find it. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, I'll stick that on when I'm off camera. So there we go. So that's it all finished. Look at that lovely big mess that we've made here. I'll lift this off so we can see it not on the, the messy board. So we just lift it off there, put that across there, just to shove that out of the way. A bit risky holding it like that one. <laughs> there we go. I'll just shove this, all this out there. And there we go. So, um, so as I said, it's not... It's not obviously perfect and it's a very, very quick. It's been a Facebook Live. Uh, first time I've made what an octopus, like, anything like this before. So hopefully it's gave you inspiration and, and hopefully you give it a wee shot and give it a try. And of course, um, this was just made in what, a couple hours? What was it? How two, long? Two hours. Two hours. So that's been two hours doing live. So of course, if you're doing it in your, in your own time, uh, then you've got a bit more fun. And of course, you can start to paint metallics and make it a bit more um, sort of uh, vibrant. And of course, when you see the uh, octopus, there's so many different colours. And of course, you can make it a bit more realistic, or you can even make it more fun and uh, do big eyelashes from using fl uh, uh, flower paste, black flower paste, and stuff like that. Uh, and of course, you could add more fishies. So we've got the, great, the the coral reef cake that's just on there. So of course, you could make the seashells. You can make some corals. You can make some little Nemo's uh, swimming around it, just to sort of literally add to the ambience and the, the overall finish of the cake. So, um, so I really hope you've enjoyed tuning in. Uh, it's been two hours, it's been a long one, um, but it's just been fun, hasn't it? So has everyone enjoyed it? Are we getting some thumbs yeah. up? Yeah, I'm welcome the room. Good, good. Oh, that's good. So I, so I apologise about the mess, but when you're doing a live, you do end up with quite a lot quite a lot of mess. Um, so if anyone's got any questions that we've not answered in the, the feed, if it, you can just either PM me, you know, so send me a little private message, um, just so I definitely see it, or just tag me when you're answer, asking the question, uh, and I'll try and get back to you over the next uh, the next day or so uh, for that. So, um, so again, thanks very much for watching. This is this is hopefully the start of something great on this little group, and uh, hopefully we're going to get a lot more lives, a lot more interesting things coming up. Yep. Yes. And we're just going to finish with the motor chopper motorbike. Chopper right, motorbike. Right. <laughs> so we're going to finish off with the motorbike. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a good night, a good afternoon, a good day, and we shall see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.